evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you all being here. We're going to be playing some Manor Lords, and I couldn't be more excited for it. Um, I'm, I'm just making sure my microphone, it is on. <laughs> it's generally one of my things. Yeah, so thank you all so much for being here. So we are going to play Manor Lords. We're going to continue the city that we were building, which is Olsen Shire, I believe. Uh, oh, jeez. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Jeez, holy cow. There, 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The hype train continues. Holy cow. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, before we do that, though, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, I wanted to talk about some of the stuff that came out with City Skylines 2 today and kind of gauge your feedback and reaction to it. Oh, my goodness. You guys are just super generous. Um, <laughs> Mike, thank you for the prime. Alexander the Great, thank you for the prime. Uh, the Jack Nasty, thank you for six months at Tier 1. Appreciate you, Ash. Ash. <laughs> uh, Jarvis, thank you so much for the prime as well. So, you were stunned. Uh, if you guys are not sure what I am talking about... Uh, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn on the music for me because it's really loud. Um, so basically, we got this apology letter where uh, the developers came out and said, we're sorry about City Skylines 2. We're sorry about beach properties. We're going to be giving beach properties away to everyone who bought City Skylines. It's part of the base game now. And if you bought Ultimate, you get three content creator packs and three radio stations, which apparently have a value of $40. Um, interesting. Uh, then they delayed the DLC bridges and ports and said that uh, they're going to be focusing on updates to the base game. Uh, then they said that the console release is going to come not this spring, but rather October. And they, that they hope to have uh, uh, they, they basically hope to have the release candidate starting now and then uh, basically uh, thanked everyone. So then there's also a fax page. And there's some interesting stuff here as well. It talks about how refunds will happen. Basically, if you bought it through Steam, through Xbox, um, or through Paradox, you'll get an instant refund. If you went to like instant gaming, I, I, don't, I don't really know what happens to you. Um, and then they basically talk a little bit about assets and things like that as well. So a little, little bit of confusion with all of it, truthfully. Um, I see questions about whether I'm in the group that's involved. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I really wish that I had a, a solid answer for you. The only answer I have is I don't know. <laughs> so hold on one second. My, my, uh, my chat's not working right. So I'm going to re-pull up my Elgato camera hub so I can actually see chat. Give me one second. Uh, disappointed to see the ports DLC move so far out. So I, as soon as I found out about it, I kind of wondered if that was going to be how people felt. Um, Lord of Llamas, I'm good. I, hello, smack this. I'm good. Not my, this is this is what's on my mind today. Um, now that I will represent you, I I I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be the case. If I mean I I have I've tried to be with everything. My goal is to be helpful. I don't want to I don't want to make them feel good. Just to make them feel good. But I want to give constructive feedback. So anything I give, it's I don't want to just. There's so many takes where it's people just dunking on the devs or dunking on Paradox, and I just don't think that that that's helpful. So I think that if they want to open up a dialogue, it's it's best for me to, to try to give constructive feedback. So if I am a part of it, I will try to have some sort of a, a feedback session where I can get feedback from you to relate to them. But I don't know that that's going to be a, a thing. I don't know that that is something that they want so we'll have to see uh vainglorious your reaction apologies long overdue uh, yeah they burned so much goodwill also the radio stations for ultimate editions here seriously the one thing that you never buy it bothered by yeah so that that my my reaction was i really wish they would have come out with this in november but i'm happy they're doing it now but the thing that i i, I was kind of the most i highlighted it right here 40 bucks they're already putting a price tag on these three content creator packs and these radio stations, I think the radio stations are five bucks each. So that's 15 bucks for radio stations. 25 is remaining. So that's eight bucks and 30 cents. It's kind of a, a weird, to me, that's kind of an unforced error. It's another unforced error like last time, where rather than creating the content and setting the price afterwards, you set the price and then you try to create the content 
that'll meet that value. And I, I don't I don't really understand that personally. Yeah, for 40, they better be worth it this time. Yeah. <laughs> McFunnelbot, you don't I, listen, I'm a planner. I don't like math, but I can do this. I can do this basic math. Also, I'd be lying if I didn't admit to doing this math before stream, so you guys didn't have to watch me struggle. I'm not, I'm not that foolish. <laughs> uh, not fussed about the radio stations. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. There's a whole bunch of excellent radio stations. The Jack Nasty. The Jack Nasty. Damon, thank you both so much for the gifted subs. 10 from the Jack Nasty from Jack Nasty. Damon gave out five. I need to deliver for you guys now. I, I need to get uh, I the next Manor Lords video is halfway done. I need to get off my butt and finish it. Not that I've been on my butt. I was editing all day, but uh, yeah, geez, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I can't believe the hype train is still going on. That is ridiculous. Uh, Camus, thank you so much for the Prime. Somer Song, thank you for the Prime. Uh, the Plane Destroyer, thank you for Tier 1. Clyde Whale, thank you for Tier 1. You guys are super awesome. Yes, get off my butt. I mean, I'm, I'm just enjoying my chair and yeah. I, I do edit while sitting down because I made this desk and it's not a sit-stand. So it's terrible. I, I, I definitely should have uh, made a sit-stand. So anyway, I want to poll. I want to poll you guys because I'm just curious. We thought about your business analytics. So you're pretty good with math. We need a, a time to prep and open Excel. Yes. Excel is that place to be. Uh, I want to poll you guys because I love to poll you guys. And I want to find out how you guys feel about this. So... How do you feel about the announcement? Uh, hopeful? Bad? Cautious? Indifferent? And I will make this scientific. You can't buy votes. I should, I should probably spell things right, though. <laughs> right now it's all off. One minute poll. I want you guys to tell me. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you the two beers I have tonight. So I have two of my favorites. Well, I should say I have one of my favorites and another one that was easy. So I have a Lineys. Uh, this one is a Sunset Wheat. It is uh, with natural blueberry and citrus flavors. It's just a good summertime beer. And even though it's cold today, I'm still going to go with it. And then for this one, I have a Fantasy Factory. And I went out with a buddy last night and we had a Fantasy Factory together. And I just wanted it again. It's very good. Yeah, I want to pour it over to Mac too. I, 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 uh, I, I don't. I, I really. That was the one big omission. They didn't talk about that at all. Uh, didn't they go out of business? Are you talking about? Uh, are you, are you thinking of Ail Asylum? Listen, this one is a uh, not Ail Asylum. Ail Asylum. It's, uh, Caribbean Four. Currently drinking an ale. Your wife's. <laughs> My wife's bitter. <laughs> That's awesome. Hopeful. That's good. I was I was very curious. So hopeful, cautious, indifferent. So I've been curious because I just see a lot of negativity. And I get the negativity. But at the same time, I kind of feel like what what more can we really expect from them besides this? I feel like this is as good as it gets for us right now. And so for me... I'm happy that we finally got a proper, I am sorry, you know, uh, we let you down. I mean, that those are the sorts of phrases that I guess we are truly sorry that I wanted to see, um, you know, cause I personally, I, I thought that at, on early access, we were going to get this big update to fix things that didn't come. So yeah, you want to play city skylines to de uh, death one six. I get it. That's the thing. It is a, the bones are there. It's going to, when it is fully ready, it's going to be a great game. Unfortunately, right now it's got issues. So because of that, I've been really excited to play Manor Lords. Let me just tell you, I've been absolutely ridiculously addicted to this game. I can't get enough of it. I've been playing it nonstop. It's the game that has replaced Civ for me. So when I watch trashy YouTube videos at night, I've been playing this game it's been a blast so um i absolutely love it oh my goodness the jack nasty are you kidding me are you kidding me 10 gifted subs oh my goodness brain freeze with the gifted sub ultra fire with the prime uh 
full stack with the prime the the, the mr foxy with the prime uh, oh my goodness chaos hose with the with the tier one <laughs> damon everett with the five gifties i just you guys are amazing i i really appreciate it um there's an ad break starting for everyone and in the mean everyone except for all these people who just got the gifted sub so i'm gonna start manor lords up and i, I want to show you one thing so one of the reasons i was inspired by this is I, I i mentioned that i like the bing background app and look at the background it gave me today i just feel like it's a sign that we've got to play manor lords uh when does the game go live it goes live on the 26th and if you have game pass pc you're already getting it you're already getting it uh if you uh otherwise i don't know that a price has been announced but there were rumors there were rumors that it's going to be 30 bucks with a sale so we'll have to see. Uh, Camus, you haven't watched the recent video? I So I failed you guys in many different ways. <laughs> so um, that was uh, just, just a little hint there. Price is going to be $3.50. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, Game Pass is a ridiculous deal. And I don't think it's going to be there forever. So I would highly recommend that you take advantage of it for as long as we have it. And look at this. I figured out how to play local files through Spotify so we can get the song names to show up here, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, as long as they're playing. I can't hear it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It's good. We're good. Uh, excited for Manor Lords. Amayo. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, are, am I still going to do clear, uh, Magnolia County updates every week? So my goal is to do every other video is going to be Mag Magnolia County. The, the Jack Nasty. Oh, my goodness. Five more gifties. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. That, like, just wow, 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 wow. Super, super, super generous of you. I just, wow. Uh, <laughs> this is the wildest hype train that we've ever had on the channel. Level 10. Holy cow. Uh Aaron, thank you so much to uh, for the for the gifty Rambo. Thank you for the prime. Uh, Aaron, thank you for the resub. Five months. Alexander the Great, the biddies. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna load into our city, and uh, if you recall, this was the city. It was our stream city. Uh, we are Olsen twin. <laughs> you think that I'm just waiting for hype train level 100? Oh, cams. A oh wow, that thing is moving around. How's that? Is that better? How do you opt out of the horrid, horrible ads? The horror ads? Oh, I had the exact same one earlier, and I have no idea how to opt out of it, but it was just like jump scares nonstop. So I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have Olsen Twin, and we are in Olsen Shire, and if you missed the last stream, we are, let's look at where we are on the map. We are in the corner. So this is Olsen Shire. So if you're watching the, the, the actual video city, it's right here. Waldbrand is right in the center. And Olsen Shire is right here. And we are building on a hill. So we're right at the top. So I am not very good at strategy, is what I've learned from the video. But apparently, as far as a, as a strategic location goes, this is about as good as it gets. Now, one thing. You look, you guys see that? I have, uh, I've turned into a, a little bit of a warmonger. Oh, that's, that's, that's an army. We're going to leave that alone. Uh, we are going to be going after and, and uh, pursuing battles and trying to get some money and trying to level up the city. Cause that's the one thing we didn't do last time. Every single building we have is a level one. So we are going to want to improve upon that. Uh, you have the feeling that a trading post makes the most sense for the King's road. Yes. We're going to do that. Oh my goodness. Full stack. Thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate you. Uh, we are the first thing I want to do. Let's, let's form a militia and I want you guys to help me. Whoops. You guys need to help me because I'm bad at this. Um, so what I've been doing is just sending everyone in and causing lots of problems. So let me see. Let's go over here. Uh, don't let them sprint. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to slowly and calmly walk. Because <laughs> I like to sprint a lot. Um, while they're sprinting, I'll show you around. Or while they're walking, sorry. They're not sprinting. <laughs> um, 
We've built our church here because this is what we need to get most of our buildings to level up to level two. Actually, wait, we've got a couple level two buildings. Um, at our second home there. But for most of these, oh, look at that. All we had to do is not be on camera and we can, we can do a whole bunch of this stuff. We've got a lot of these that are very close. We're missing clothing. So we'll probably want to get uh, animals imported. But I've learned a lot about trading and I really think that we need to, uh, to get on trading early today. Uh, spears front, swords behind. Well, good news. We have no swords, I don't think. We, th we have... Oh, wait, wait. So what does the retinue actually have? Here's where, here's where I get a little... Okay. Here's where I get a little bit confused. Um... Let me see. Whoa, whoa, what did I miss? What did I miss? Nair. 25 gifted subs. Oh my goodness. Nair, 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 thank you. Like, you guys don't have to do that, but I really, really appreciate it. Hype train level 11. This is the highest hype train we've ever had. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, Magnum, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, it, it feels like by the end of this, everyone who's in here, I don't even know how many people are here or on YouTube. Um, but it feels like everyone's going to have a, a gifted sub at this point. And I, I just, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Peaches, Malba, thank you so much for the, for the, uh, for the, uh, biddies. Just, wow. Um, wow. 400 here. Uh, well, thank you all for being here. Just very, very much appreciated. Uh, 400 here, 800 on YouTube. All of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and on YouTube, especially I, I've exhausted my notification limit for the day. And I didn't realize that I screwed up. I had a community post and then a video and then a live stream and you can only have so many things before they kind of suppress you for spamming things and I think I might have hit that limit today. Um, <laughs> Julian, you don't have to. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, wow. Bending Unity. Thank you so much. Bane Glorious. Thank you so much. Uh, Julian, thank you. Christopher, thank you. You guys are absolutely amazing. I just to you all. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah, wow. Just wow. <laughs> well, um, at this point, I, yeah, Manor Lord hype. <laughs> I, am, I am very hype. Uh, so the retinue has, it looks like. Are they holy? Yeah, they have swords. So swords in the front, spearmen in the back, spearmen in the front, swords in the back. Uh, Shandy Nasty, thank you so much for the prime. Oh, I'm still set to just chatting. That's probably half my problem. Let's uh, let's get this right. I'm sorry, guys. I, you guys are throwing me off my game. You guys are just wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. And of course, it's not gonna let me update it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. This game, this game runs ridiculously well. I was getting over 200 FPS. So yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I uninstalled uh, Afterburner, but I can, I can, yeah, it, it's good. It's really good. So now I need to know. Spears, okay, you can edit them you can edit what weapons they have once they push into your spears. Send the store swords in. Okay. So we'll go for our spear militia first. And I'm going to send them to the top of the hill. Right here. And then our swords will be behind. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. So here we go. Uh, Jordman, good to see you in here. I'm good. Hopefully you're good. The push of pikes. I need bows. I know. I know. As soon as we're done clearing this camp, we are going to sprint towards having a... We're basically going to sprint towards having a, a really well-built-out trading infrastructure because that's how we're going to get everything. Uh, many hours of Total War Rome. Don't fail. You. I'm going to need you guys to help because yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. My guys are not running now. If we want to go fast, I just hit X and I can speed up like that. That's the right way. 
Okay. So now, okay, okay, guys. So I paused it. We're learning right now. So at this point, should I stand my ground or push forward? I'm in the woods. I guess I could see that the effectiveness is not super high right here. If I get down, will it be better? Stand my ground? Okay. So I'm learning on the fly. I'm trusting you guys. We're standing our ground at the top of the hill. And we'll let them get closer. And where where are uh, okay, we're over here. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a that was not okay. So they came up and they they tried to surprise us from the back. You never want to be fighting an uphill. Fair enough. That's why they came around the backside. Um Well, let's reorient ourselves. And I need to get them behind. And we'll go slow. Nice and slow. So. Run, 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 run. What are you doing? Okay, okay. So I got away. They're still going after these guys. <laughs> Have the spears hit them from the side? Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're ready. And it's battle, it's battle. I can't, here's the thing, I can't tell if I'm doing well or not. It seems, let them fight. <laughs> so the, the, the chat right now is not the chat that we normally see, but I dig it. <laughs> We've already had a member of our retinue, unfortunately, pass. Death to the opposition. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell if this is going well at all. Every medieval general ever. It, it, well, you know what? We got this guy right here who seems very excited. He's like just cheering in the side. Could be helping, but instead, doing this instead. Fall back. I heard that. <laughs> How about a nice couple of liberty? <laughs> Go forward now. Okay. So we'll push forward. Everybody forward. Okay. Pushing forward. Okay. There they go. They're running away. Cowards. Cowards. All right. So now we're going to clear their camp and we'll get their, the money and the influence. Where is it though? Where's the camp? Oh, it's right over here. So that was kind of uh, anticlimactic. <laughs> Just run away. <laughs> uh, have I ever tried Bannerlord? I have not. Is it good? So funny thing is, I was looking up, like when I was Fresh putting a YouTube video up, I typed in Bannerlord and inadvertently got Bannerlord. You love how I used to games like the scale of XCOM, where that can lead to you relocating? Huh. Uh... Isn't this where Biffa settled? Did Biffa settle uh, in the center one? This is where my, my video city is. Yes, sire. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, I have not watched Biffa's video. I've tried not to watch anyone else because I want to learn on my own, which might mean that I'm doing a lot of stupid things, but <laughs> it, uh, it, it, it suits me. K, thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, T Dorkin, thank you so much for the tier one. Two months, appreciate you. Asteria, uh, Asteria Marie, thank you so much for the tier one. You guys, the hype train is still going. I just, I can't believe that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, okay, got a couple of messages. And we are going to send the resources. Oh. Okay, guys, I want to know. So if we send the resources to town, we can use it for our trading post that we are going to set up momentarily. If we send it to our treasury, we can get mercenaries. You can always trade. It's true, as opposed to taxing. Please turn on the game audio. 
Oh, the actual in-game audio. I'll do that in just a moment. Um, too early for mercenary. Oh. White male Chad, you've earned yourself a ban. Enjoy. Peace out. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Your mockeries, yes. All right. I'm going to pull you guys. Doc, thank you so much for the tier one. Um, and I want to see. Yeah, so the hired killers. I had them I had I had them abandon me. Uh treasury. Wait. Where should we send our money? Town? Treasury. And I'll let you guys vote. I'll let you guys vote on that. There you go. Please don't turn down the game audio. <laughs> Out of all the streams you've seen, I'm the biggest warmonger. I'm going after all of it. All of it. Anytime I see anyone, we're doing it. And guys, level 13. You guys are insane. I appreciate 125 gifted subs, 21,000 bits. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Turn up the audio. You want to go down? <laughs> We are going to turn it down. I, I, we got to wait till the end of the vote, though. I can't get to the settings yet. <laughs> uh, wow. You guys are amazing. OG Picklehead, thank you so much. If I missed anyone, and I know that I missed some people, uh, like Big Money, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, Mind, 5,000 biddies, thank you so much. Miss Monster, thank you so much for the tier one. If I missed you, I'm really sorry. I want to thank you all, though. Like, that's super generous. That's just wild. Okay. We're going to send this to the town. So we'll have more money for our trading post. And I will turn down the game audio. So it's not the music. The music is its own thing. That's uh, through Spotify. So if the music's the problem, let me know. <laughs> the best city planner YouTuber? I mean, there are only a few of us, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. Take the master to 50. You don't even hear so the in-game music is actually through i have it local files playing through spotify so if if you're see if it's too loud let me know oh got that going the wrong way we'll go over here um can i move the music menu ah uh, oh yes i will try this is going to be this is going to be a little bit of uh, an adventure for me, though. Oh! <laughs> See, uh, when I say adventure, I mean it's really going to be an adventure for me as I try to, 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 to figure this out. Uh, I have them as all individual elements, so I'm going to grab them really quickly. I haven't finished cleaning this up yet. Okay. Oh, shoot. Missed the face cam. Wait just one second. I'm going to get it. There we go. And now I got to do YouTube. It's separate. So give me just one second for that. Because uh, everyone on YouTube is going to want to see the exact same thing, I'm guessing. Okay. That's a lot better. Thank you for Thank you for letting me know that early on. I appreciate that. Okay. You believe in me. I, I appreciate that. You have more confidence in me than I do. <laughs> uh, need to get a bar, uh, a bardcore playlist for, for music. <laughs> One of these days. <laughs> uh, best streamer award. I don't, I don't know about that. I, I am a, I am one of the streamers ever. I've, I've, I'm doing my thing. I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay. Back to town. Did we build a trading post? I don't know that we did. I kind of want to reacquaint myself with the town. So I know, oh, we did. We built it in a ridiculous location. Um, I don't like this at all. I don't know that I understood what I was doing. So we're going to redo this. I want this to be closer to the King's Road. What do you guys think? 
Only fans? No, thank you. <laughs> Only plans. That's much better. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking I want to move this thing. At least, uh, you know what? It's fine. We'll leave it for now. I think this is probably a better location. Um, only plants is far better. That's 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 a great. <laughs> that is that is uh, that is great. Um, wow, Walter, Jack Nasty. You guys are still going. I just I, I appreciate it. OG Picklehead, thank you for the for the tier one. Walter Walter Scufflesworth, thank you for the prime. Uh, mine, thank you for the prime. And Jack Nasty. Five get more gifted subs. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, build on hill for aesthetics. I, I think we're gonna keep it up here. I want to. I'm trying to remember. So let's see. We are currently. We want to get to large village. Let's see where we're at with our development policies. We've unlocked two, and I think we unlocked the wrong ones. And there's no way to undo it. So I really would rather get trade logistics and then better deals. So we are going to do our best. I never unlocked four development points. I've only done three. So we're going to race towards having five level two burgage plots. Because let me explain, first of all, why this matters. So if you get trade logistics, the trade routes are only 25 uh, gold max to to actually build and then if you get better deals the imports are non-existent so the reason why this matters is if we go in here and we try to establish a trade route you can see that some of the basic ones are pretty cheap so right here if we want to do stone it's six but the moment we buy this one every other trade route will get more expensive so that's the problem and then over here the export price is one the import price has a 10 gold tariff so the second policy gets rid of that tariff, so it ends up being equal. It's one one gold to import or export. So it means that you can basically get rid of certain industries in your town and have them be 100% import based. The other thing about that is it means that you can actually supplement everything in your city. And that is something I really wanna do. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to get there without some more development points. So our goal, I guess it's going to be to have some complete supply chains so that we can actually meet all these requirements as quickly as we can. So with that, how's the game at onboarding new players? Not good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's honestly pretty terrible. So if you go into the help menu, this is what you get. It's like, okay, so what are the buildings? Uh, what's the trading post? It just tells you what it is. It doesn't really tell you how it works. So there is a lot of guessing and checking and, and, and learning. Yeah, it's 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 not great. Uh, I have not played Ostra, but I own it. I bought it. But yes, this is a single dude. And here's the thing. I would much rather the mechanics be in place and be solid than have the developer uh, tell me how they work perfectly. I can, I, can expl I can figure it out on my own, basically. Also, you guys have like two weeks of watching YouTube videos. Anyway. By the time you guys get this on the 26th, you're gonna be experts. You won't. You won't need a help. Uh, help. Uh, help in the game at all. You'll be completely fine. Uh, is this like upgraded combination of medieval dynasty and furthest frontier? It's it's a lot like furthest frontier, banished, uh, any of those games. Add time. Okay, we'll we'll chill out for 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 Twitch folks. I'm just gonna check to see if we can upgrade any of these. So we need five of these. So clothing stall is the big one. I think, oh, we got one right here. The way that we're going to address the clothing stall issue, or oh, if it even is an issue, is uh, I want to get some sheep. So we'll we'll start that. So that's one of the easier supply chains to, uh, to complete. Oh, we don't even need to. Oh my goodness, we got so many. We're good, we're good. I'm just gonna speed this along. Uh, I have bricks for sheep. You have bricks for sheep. <laughs> What's the new message? Uh, when searching through enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. Oh, again to the town. I don't know where we found that from, but we'll take both of them. 
I don't know if that was a bug or not. <laughs> Trade your sheep for sheep. That's the best way to do it, especially when there's a Terra. The best way to do it is to have sheep and trade them for sheep, uh, and it costs $10 more to trade them. Uh, no ETA on console release. It is going to be on Game Pass, but no ETA on that. What did I say in the last two and a half minutes of ads? I said that there are ads I was unaware, and I was going to try to upgrade some of these homes. And we got it. Oh, you... I cannot believe you. Claiming more land. Well, I'm not happy about that. Uh, let's see, that right here. So this actually got a nice supply of uh, stone. The interesting thing about this is they're claiming all this land, but they have no cities on it. So, awesome. <laughs> Great. Uh, you think the king has the longest road? I think so. I think so. Um, let's see. Back over here. Where am I? No, back over here. <laughs> We're waiting for everything to be upgraded. So I'm just going to speed this along because once this is upgraded, we will get that next policy and we'll at least be able to start some of these trade routes to at least sell things. Um, really curious about what it's going to take to reach the next level though, but we should be able to get uh, our five level level two buildings now. Uh, so are all the people's, uh, people adults in this game? They are not. That said, I have not been able to draw a strong line between adults becoming children. So you can see that like there are 44 level one adults and 22 level two children or level one children. But I don't like there's no way for me to tell when those children become adults or when I build a new house. If it's some of the children that are aging up and becoming adults in those homes, I can't really tell. Uh, can you build fortifications? We can. So from my understanding, the little bit that I have watched is you can open up the castle planner and eventually, I'm not sure how it happens, but as your city grows, this area around the castle gets larger and larger and larger. And we can take these castle walls and spread them around our entire city. So I really do want to keep this compact on the top of the hill because I'd love to put walls all the way around this thing. Oh, we've got some raiders. Yumble. Oh, buddy. Yum I love Yumble. Yumble, Yumble, Yumble. I just, I'm, I'm, what? You guys were playing Manor Lords, weren't you? Well, welcome in. I, uh, I promise uh, if you stick around here, we'll have a good time. I'll, I'll take care of him, Yumble. We'll be nice and friendly and have, uh, have, a, have a good time. I loved your hat today, Yumble. I was, I was, uh, I was lurking a little bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you guys don't know Yumble, I don't know how to do a shout out, um, but if I did, I would tell you, go check out Yumble. Uh, if you're a Big Cities fan, you know Yumble from all the amazing uh, interchanges that he puts together. Uh, and he's also been playing a lot of Workers and Resources and been playing Manor Lords recently as well. Yumble's amazing, just a super nice person and a super chill guy. So highly recommend Yumble's YouTube channel and his Twitch stream. Uh, good hats, good heart. Good person. Uh, so yeah, just thank you for thank you for the raid, Yumble. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, oh, Q is in here as well. Good to see you in here. Uh, Q, did it work? I just want to know. Just yes or no. That's all I need. I just need to know a yes or no. I was meaning to ask you about that. Fredneck Teddy, good to see you in here. Theoretically, I could use watchtowers as a way to build walls around your whole city. So I think that we, we should eventually be able to add them all the way around. Uh, did what work? Yes. Oh, <laughs> now you remember. Not yet. Bomber. I'll keep working on it. <laughs> uh, Nair, you're a raider too. <laughs> you're everywhere. Uh, wow. <laughs> All right, so we've been waiting. We have a bunch of our buildings that are currently leveling up. For anyone who's wondering, this is a city that we started in the previous stream. We just got done uh, uh, taking over a bandit camp. We cleared it, and we are trying to work towards a whole bunch of trade. Problem is, we have unlocked a couple of trees that maybe aren't super helpful for us, like trapping and coal, uh, charcoal burning. 
when we actually want trade logistics and better deals. If we do that, we should be able to basically replace whatever we want in our in our city with imports because it makes them the exact same price as our exports. So we should be able to find a renewable resource, really crank at that, and then hopefully, oh no, no, no. I don't want any of that Celtic stuff in here. That's not okay. Oh. Shady, shady, nasty, 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much. That's super generous of you. Super generous of you. Um, yeah. Uh, curious how good I will be. I'm, I'm terrible at, at the, the battle mechanics. I'm terrible. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have been absolutely ridiculous tonight. To you guys. Thank you so much. Cheers to you. Um, oh, yeah. I, I love Anno. Uh, if I thought about playing Anno, I love Anno. Yeah, Anno's, I'm, I'm bad at Anno, too, but that doesn't mean I don't love it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Am, are you really going earlier with the outbuilding resources and the burgage plots? No. So, I like... So, it's interesting. The first time I played... I went all hard in on the on the outbuildings and the burgage plots. But then you realize that some of these can't be built until you get to level two. So with that in mind, like let, let's say I were to take this one right here. It's level one. I could have a chicken coop, uh, but I, I probably want a brewery extension at some point, and I can't do that till it's level two. So, you know, uh, the, the tailor's workshop, which you need at least three of, uh, shoes, the cobbler's workshop, which are excellent for exports. Um, all of these things you can't build right now. Mate, so, uh, mate, yeah, just here. not so not, not worth it just yet. Um, Step right up and Nair, thank you so much for encouraging people to use their rhymes. I don't do that. I, don't, I, 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 for, I always forget to, so I appreciate that. I should probably have a link. Uh, bueno Churro, good to see you in here. I should hit the icons instead of clicking around the tab. Oh, wait. What does tab do? <gasps> Ooh, that. Okay, okay, okay. So that's telling me the level and whether it's ready to... It's telling me what I can upgrade. Oh, my goodness. I think anyway. Wait, 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 wait. So the green. Requirements not met. What am I missing? It's clearly showing me a lot of valuable info. I can see the level of the buildings now. So twos and ones. Um, and most of these could be upgraded at this point. So upgrading them is really important because that's how we can get some regional wealth from them without upgrading them. Level one buildings produce a family, but that's it. So we want to do that as much as we can. The green hammer is just what you thought you could adopt. Uh, you could add a plot, you think? Oh, 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 it's the backyard extension. That's what it is. So we don't want to do that just yet. Um, <laughs> actual footage of me just now? That is me. Greenhouse is upgrade? Well, I can't upgrade this one, so that one's kind of funny. I don't know why it's showing me that. Because, yeah, I can't. I definitely... I can add a... I can add a burgage plot. But, yeah, nothing else. Um, Chili Fat, thank you for being here. That's not a greenhouse. It's a green garage or something of that nature. Uh, green tool is a back plot. Yeah. How long until I unlock the rural subway restaurant? I, I mean, I, I would go for quick trips first. Uh, but because this is, I mean, what, this is Germany? I mean, let's, let's be honest. Wisconsin's basically half German. <laughs> so what we, what we need here is a tavern. That's the, that's the next supply chain. After we get, uh, how much that, how much that do we have? I don't think we have, we don't have any of it right now, but that would be the next thing. Uh, okay, Sids, thank you so much for the, for the biddies. Appreciate you. Uh, Red Rose Classic. Thank you so much for the prime. Uh, there, thank you for giving Yumble a, uh, a, a sub. Appreciate you. Tier three, super generous of you. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much for the prime. Stolen Okies. Thank you so much. Five gifted subs. You guys are amazing. Um, an Aldi or a quick trip. Best solution for everything. Uh, bring boys back home. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Disband the unit. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
we're good. So maybe that's part of why this is taking so long. The other thing is we've only got one oxen, so that would be another logical thing since we're just upgrading everything. Let's do this. I'm going to upgrade this and then we'll buy an ox. Very high, highest priority for that. Uh, poor guys have been standing in a field. Yeah, they've been over here for half the summer, just like, just chilling out. <laughs> uh, total accident, totally fine. Order another ox. We're going to be good. So the ox will help us build things twice as fast. So really kind of a bummer that I didn't have that already. Hermocrates, I'm one of two people to pronounce your name correctly. That is wild. I mispronounce everything. It's one of my superpowers. <laughs> uh, probably. Oh, so being trapped over by the field is better than working at 24-7. That's true. Speaking of that, we're going to slow things down for a minute because there's one thing I haven't done that I really want to try. Um, so we have... Where is it? There is a night mode. Oh, cosmetic day and night. I just want to see what it looks like. Because I, I, haven't, I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, this is not... This is really not releasing on friday i'm sorry it's releasing let's see i'm looking next week friday so you've got another week and a day of knuckleheads like me playing it on stream and being super pumped and not sleeping enough because they're playing way too much of this game yeah it's it's bad i'm sorry <laughs> yeah the game is absolutely beautiful it's stunning i just can't believe it <laughs> it's it's so good and it, it, cl clearly it is early access um fine well why thank you so much for being here buddy thank you so much um so why is it early access so if you go over some of these this is locked and early access work in progress so there are a number of these development portions of the development tree that are not available for policies most of them are not available they're all locked in early access and the ones that we have aren't really that good thankfully you can enable and disable them kind of whenever you want and then for production there's just nothing so there are many things in the game that are like that where you'll see what is very clearly i don't know uh i don't know the right way of putting it but it, it seems like it's notes from the developer to the developer <laughs> so yeah there's there's stuff in there like that it's not but it, ultimately the gameplay is real good right now so I'll take the placeholders. I'll take, to me, the the closest I can, this feels a lot like, it feels a lot like Timberborn in that there were portions of Timberborn that you were like, oh boy, the balance is off. Things are weird. Um, I, I'm not sure if this is release version. It is, it is probably release version, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple of fixes. Uh, yeah, Vainglorious Timberborn. Yeah, we uh, yeah, we're at we're at we're, we're version point seven. So there's a lot here, but there's some stuff that's clearly. Like, I mean, reasonably, when I'm talking about wanting to do all the trade stuff, I think you could make a reasonable argument that I want to play the game in a way that is not well balanced, where I can I can basically once we do our trade thing, once we get to the the, the, the couple policies I want. We're going to take, we could take this, this wheat field, and get rid of it. It doesn't matter anymore. What we could do then is import clay, turn it into roof tiles, export it. There's no market saturation. So it's just, you know, unlimited, unlimited exports. Doc Bonzi, thank you so much for being here. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Yeah. Trading is fully OP. <laughs> uh, Diplomacy is not fully flushed out. Yeah. So let's say we go, well, here's a, here's, here's an example. So you can see the city that we're building. Looks real nice. It looks like Hildenbolt's not doing anything. No cities here, none here, nothing here. I would imagine that, is, wait, 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 is this something? No, <laughs> that's the destroyed windmill. I would imagine, um, kind of like Anno, in the, in the full release, Hildenbolt builds cities because that would make sense. And then when you go to take it, it's considerably more challenging. Um, also, 
you go to talk to Hildenbolt. He, I, I've mentioned some of the uh, notes from the developer to the developer. Declaration, war underscore surprise. <laughs> That's the sort of thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that uh, you can you can clearly tell it's not it's not quite there. And there's just not a lot. Need underscore silver. Request funds. I don't I don't even know what to what to do with this. Yeah, the AI building expanding is confirmed. Yeah, so there's a, there's stuff like that that's not there yet, but ultimately, it's you can still have a lot of fun with it. So yeah, there's stuff there's stuff that's not quite there yet. Will I be attempting the largest city build? Yeah, I mean I don't see why not. Why 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 wouldn't we? Uh, once, so once we get our trading route established, then yes, I think that we should. I think we should do our best to build as large a population as we can. Disconnected. I think that I think that did the trick. Uh, can you build walls in this game? Yes, from your uh, from your manor. So we are currently this upgrade away from our next policy, and then we are going to start. Uh, that's dark, allied. <laughs> uh, that we that is uh, we will uh. uh We'll then start doing our trading. You're gonna try to build your hometown? Uh, Keyboard, you can. So once your city gets big enough, the area of influence around your manor expands. Okay, we, we, and I wonder, if I open the castle planner now, it's not, it's not getting bigger yet, but it will. So we'll keep an eye on that because I would love to have walls around this entire thing. But all right, we've got a policy. That was what I was really concerned about. We're gonna go for straight trade logistics because now we can start trading some things this will help us with exports but i don't want to import anything right now um because it just it doesn't make financial sense to do so um so let's see for the next level we need three level three two more level two it's gonna be tough. So we're gonna to need to build more. Um, let's go ahead. And we will build some more homes around here. And it looks like we're, we're finally, it's nighttime. And uh, wow, it's, it looks nice. Uh, our market's right here. I don't think that this was a great layout for the market either. I've actually started to settle on having more smaller markets rather than one larger market because you start to see the benefit uh, spread out a little bit more. The wall is really expensive from a plank standpoint. So if we're going to get rid of it, I'm not sure that there's a great value in it. Although if we were attacked, all of our people would run inside the wall. So I guess that is a thing. Uh, Emu, thank you so much for being here. Uh, do the buildings like the church have a radius effect? Kind of. But not one that's very clear that I could tell anyway. Um, so one of them, the tavern, for instance, provides one entertainment. And if you're not close to it, that, that benefit won't get to you very quickly. Uh, we're going to kind of... Actually, let's, let's... We'll leave this one. We'll get rid of this one. So we can leave kind of a view into our castle for now. And... We'll open up a few more over here. Too close. Too close. And then the next thing I want to get to is we do not have uh, an animal trader. And I think that's the next thing that we need. Uh, the main reason for that is one of the things that I know that we are missing is clothing. So if we start that supply chain up, we should we should have some more clothing stalls. Um, hopefully with these, we can also start to add more people to our storehouses. One of the things that I'm realizing now is without a storehouse uh, populated with people, you don't get some of the shops in the marketplace. So we'll need to do that. Oh yeah, the Tanner, the Tanner. Yeah, and I, I've been reading the comments on the YouTube video. I have been placing the Tanner way too close to town. Oh, we, we have a Tanner, it's way over here. Um, which is probably the most appropriate location we could put it in. Uh, the YouTube video, uh, lots of folks were saying, the Tanner is way too close to people. <laughs> Wait, I had it like right in town. 
Uh, let's see. We've also got our forager. We've got two people that are hunting. We might as well because we have that policy. Actually, let's adopt the rich hunting grounds policy. And then we can just kind of crank at this. And maybe we can even sell some of that. So this is going to make our wheat fields less effective. But it'll double the effectiveness of our already uh, rich deposit of wild animals. Uh, dirty buildings do not currently affect happiness. But if you look here and we go into our overlay, smell is a work in progress. And eventually, I assume that the tanner uh, will end up being smelly and not good to put downtown. Um, fire hazards is another thing that's still a work in progress, too. Stinky, yes. Uh, they use chemicals to turn animal skin to leather. Someone said in the YouTube comments it was brains. I don't know if that's true or not. But yeah, very smelly is what I hear. <laughs> chemicals meaning pee and lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they use fermented and aged urine and brain juice to tan the leather. Wow. That's disgusting. <laughs> but you know what? You got to use the materials you have available to you. And reasonably. Look at our little community. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. The sunrise over our hill. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, all right. So, animals. <laughs> Back to animals. Um, I want to start this supply chain up. And to get this one going, we are going to need a livestock trading post. I think this would be stinky as well. Let's try to think about the stench, even though we know it doesn't really do anything right now. At some point, it will. And if we want to open this up, it would be completely destroyed. So, I'm going to use this over here. So, we'll kind of send this off this way. Because we'll probably have our sheep over here anyway. So I'll get working on that as well. So for our sheep, go under farming. And we have to have a sheep farm. Then we can have a pasture as well. So I'm going to place this right about here. And then I can use that same junction. And then we'll add a pasture as well. I wonder if I get a little wild with this. There we go. That'll work. Uh, probably the same person who raised your... You can't wait to play in minimum settings? Do you want to know what it looks like? I can, I can, I can show you minimum settings. Uh, it does seem like, uh, from what I hear, uh, it is a mixture of Banished and Total War. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, yeah. It is super optimized. Okay, let's, let's just take a look. So, we currently have Ultra for everything. Uh, let's set this to Performance. Low everything. Let's see how ugly this game can look. Uh, and we'll cap our frame rate. Well, no, we're fine. We're fine with that. Uh, V-Sync's already on, so it doesn't matter. Okay. This is, uh, this is ugly Manor Lords. So if you have to play at minimum, this is what it'll look like for you. Honestly, it's clearly not as good. But it's not that bad. You still get it. It's st You still get it. Uh, uh, oh, you want to do? You want to do? Uh, you want to go for a walk? Yeah, honestly, this is gonna be. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I mean, it's clearly not perfect, but the water still looks pretty outstanding. Um, if you never saw it in Ultra, you wouldn't. You wouldn't care. So yeah, it's very wet. <laughs> it's very reflective. Uh, is it the cry engine? I have no idea. Yeah, this honestly, it looks pretty amazing. That said, I mean, we're we're going back. We're we're going back. But 
it's still it's fine let's see there we go there we go uh if you don't need to see every blade of grass then you're, you're gonna be fine uh the wet mud needs the slow movement that would be a really uh especially for trade so th with the trade i would expect that that whole system sees a pretty major overhaul uh in person dude looks very tall yeah, the, the dude that is currently the Olsen twin. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. I want, part of me wants to speed through this. Part of me wants to clear some more bandit camps. So if we see any, there's one. We are a long ways away from that one. But we're waiting for a lot of stuff to get built. And I want to claim some more land. You guys game? You guys game? Lord built like Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, Bucks legend. <laughs> Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> uh, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. We'll grab our army. And uh, it's time to mobilize. Oh, I can't mobilize the retinue because I've only got four. You have to have five to rally. And to get another one of these, what would I need? Um... I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> that is that is the that is the long story short. I can customize them, but I have no idea how to fix them. I I, I they need whatever. So okay, hold on tab. We would need. So I I think we just need to provide them with the right white the right weaponry. And then once we do that and we have enough people, it works, but we have no weapons. So this is unreal. That sounds right. That sounds right. Oh, Macho Maddie, thank you so much for the prime. Gary Kelsey, thank you. We've got five gifted subs. I appreciate you. MP Cuts, thank you so much for the prime. Stolen Oakleys, thank you for the five prime, uh, five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Tyler Vig, thank you for the prime. Uh, thank you again. Thank you again. Um, you guys are awesome. Okay, what does the six thumbs down mean? That means that we have a couple of buildings that we've upgraded that are not meeting the requirements. And if we were to not meet those requirements for long enough, they would abandon. So the problem is we don't have enough, we don't have food at all at the market. So we probably have a market stall over here for food that is empty. Um, or they're not getting food from the one that they have. Yeah, some of these have just like one food or two berries. So that's the problem. They need to be refilled. Once we have more people in our city, we'll assign more people over to like our granary. This right here, having more people working this alone will, will solve so many of our problems. Let's see actually, how many people do we have working at our farm? Two? We have someone at our windmill that doesn't need to be there. Uh, at our communal oven got someone there as well i don't even think we have any flour we don't have any so we'll take that away and let's assign those two to our granary and that might fix the food issue over here but it's like that for everything so um we're seeing it with our clothing stall supply which means that for our large storehouse yeah we we have hides here we have leather here they're not being sold at the market we need someone else working at our large storehouse. So yeah, the granary needs to be in town. I'll bite. I'll bite on that. That makes sense to me. Uh, let's see. I'll bite. Yeah, we'll put that. We'll put that right here. Actually, we'll put it here. We kind of have everything on this outer ring. Um. Once that gets built, close. Oh, you want it closer to the market? Okay. We will experiment. If you guys have any ideas, back seating is welcome. I don't know if I'm one of the few people who says that, but I'm here for it. Uh, so the retinue, we can't we we can't actually call them. So customizing them is not helpful. But I can show you what it looks like. Basically, you can go through. I believe each and every one of your soldiers and change the way that they look, completely customize them. So 
You could choose what they're wearing, change the colors of their outfit, like just kind of an insane amount of detail and customization. Now, one thing that's interesting is you can see what we actually need. So we need whatever this shirt is, a sword and a spear. And it looks like they're all wearing some sort of a helmet. So we need that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can recruit using the treasury. This is how we do it. Okay. Um, and our treasury is currently empty because we gave all of our money to our trade, uh, to our trading post. Okay. Here's the thing. Yes, I can be good someday. You got to gain experience by, by failing. Uh, Nic Nic uh, Nicoletto's, thank you so much. Hopefully you're doing well in Brazil. Um, you got to fail sometimes to get good and seeing stuff like that, like now knowing the way that we are going to actually be able to recruit more is 50 gold in our treasury. That is insanely helpful. In fact, I am so happy about that. We will tax just a little bit. So there are two ways that you can tax. There's the land tax and the tithe. Just so you guys know, the tithe We'll take surplus food and give it to the church, and then you'll get influence so that you can unlock uh, uh, more in more influence so you can get more regions unlocked. We don't have enough food for that right now, but someday when we have our trading post, we are absolutely going to do that. It's going to be amazing. But for now, we are going to add uh, this land tax so we get some money into our treasury. So that's the two things that are available right now, the influence and the treasury. Um... Interesting. And then there are these, all these other things that I've never done. Probably unlocking through policies. Okay. So let's speed this up. Here we are. We're out here. This is all we've got. So we're just going to go out there and hope for the best. Uh, mention the backyards to solve food problems. We'd recommend that too. Eventually. Eventually. And honestly, we have enough money. We probably should. Uh, let's see. It's over here. Let's take a look at what the ground is like. It's relatively flat. Wonder if we come up back here. Yes, sire. We won't have them run. They'll walk to their position. You can get silver from clearing the bandit camp too. Yes. So I think the silver and the influence that we get from this one will allow us to buy another region. Um, bribing the church for influence. How weird. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is give the church a little bit of food and then you get some influence. So that's going to take some time. Hopefully we get a notification. I oftentimes just speed things along and watch it. But we're going to we're going to we're going to avoid that. Also, day night cycle. Should I turn that off or are you guys you guys into it? Makes things kind of dark, I know. Keep it. Bait. Day only. Keep it. Keep it. Okay. I see a poll coming. Uh, I'll say for the next 30 minutes. Day on. Off or on? Should we keep day night on or off? All right. It's all you guys. You guys choose. Dark is all right, especially when the town catches fire, which <laughs> will be beautiful. It will. It will definitely catch fire. Now, I know that candles are something that you can get. Um, I've never actually produced them myself. I've only imported them. So I wonder if when you have them, you have lights on the outside of your community. Very curious about that. Is it just you or does the game look blurry? It doesn't look blurry at all to me. I wonder. You might just want to refresh. Wow. You guys are saying keep it on so far. But it's close. So we'll, if, if, if keep it on wins, we'll do it for the next 30 minutes, then we'll turn it off. I'll try to remember. Uh, hello from Melbourne. Hello. Uh, Friday pills for your lunch break. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you. I, 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 it, it, that is the wild thing about streaming. Um, I think you kind of know it when you have a YouTube video that there are people from all over the world. So keep it on one. We'll keep it on for the next 30 minutes. So until about 10, 
a little a little before 10 p.m. my time. We'll turn it off. Um, it was streaming, actually seeing that there are people from all over the world tuning in. This kind of blows my mind. Like you guys are are wild. Um. Okay, Sids, thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, you believe in me? I could be a good combat strategist. <laughs> and Hope, thank you for the prime. Vincent Moons, thank you for the prime. Uh, Verge, thank you for the prime. Uh, Mo Maddie, I got you before, but I'll get you again. Thank you so much. Vincent Moons, Moons thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Of uh, course, you're in Brazil. Well, thank you. Hopefully things are good in Brazil. You guys are seeing winter, but it's probably uh, much, much nicer than my winter. Second ox, is it here? It should be. If anything, what we probably want to do now is think about building another one of these stables. Because um, the the animals are super cheap. There's really no disadvantage to building a bunch of these. So uh we're gonna we're gonna go with it. We'll we'll go for it. We'll add another one right over here. Uh stables might be smelly. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> then again, we have ox walking through our town, moving logs, crapping all over the place. I would assume. <laughs> I have a lot of timber. Would I recommend doubling my my uh, pop my my population. I yeah. <laughs> we we have all of thirty one timber right now. We're we're really rocking and rolling. Let's speed this up and let's see where we are with our army. Our spearmen, not our army. They're getting closer. Okay. So there is our destiny. See if we can sneak up. Okay. So, strategist. It looks like if we're in a clearing at the top of a hill, we're super effective. So what I need to do is somehow get us to the top of a hill before they notice us. So if I can get us right back here, coming down towards them, I can hide troops in the forest and fall back to the hill. So, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We'll walk all the way over here. And hopefully they're not noticing us. We're walking. Maybe we don't even need to go that far. Let's go over here. Just keep in mind that they'll get tired over long distances. Yes, we have the high ground. It's giving you total war vibes. I am trying my best. All right, so we're on a hill. We'll walk through the woods. And I'm going to go all the way around. We have no reinforcements. It's these guys or nothing. And we are walking. I just had the speed on very high. Okay. Here we go. I need the topography lines. I don't know how to turn them on. I have no idea how to turn them on. Another ruler's army was sighted. You get out of here. They better not be coming over here. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 was announced. I've, I've never heard of Kingdom, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. <laughs> Is it good? I loot after. So I let them do the work. It's it's that good. Okay. Hold on. I've got I've got my one note of of good Twitch ideas. And uh, Memorialopolis is already on it. So Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's an amazing game. Okay. I'm going to take your guys' word for it. And worst case scenario, I'll do what I normally do, which is inadvertently support developers by buying the game with every intention of playing it and then never playing it. <laughs> uh, you think I'll get I'll get good stuff from the fighting? I could really use that. They deserve every cent. Honestly, so are they an indie developer? Because every time there's an indie dev and this... Oh, yes, I'm going to definitely... Loot that. They're a small indie dev. Oh, that's great. Okay. 
Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that. That drives me nuts. Uh now Warhorse is a uh, Warhorse Warho Warhorse is a big indie dev. Okay. Look at how close we were able to get. Wait, wait, wait. Is this thing empty? Oh my goodness, it's empty. They went over. Did they go over? Where where are the bandits? They're gone. We're gonna walk right in here and get that influence. Oh my goodness. Run. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, uh, that's going straight to our treasury this time. Because I want to buy some troops. Ah, uh, that was great. That was great. You just get out of here. The only thing that stinks about that is we don't get influence from just like clearing. Oh, okay. We're not done. We're not done, folks. All right. So this one is up on the hill. So we need to loop back around to our land and then come from behind. So. We'll go straight through here, come up, and then go backwards. Oh, we're running. We don't want to run. In the meantime, wait, pause. Clefman, <laughs> yes, we are going to. Uh, we're going. We're gonna. We, we've got some money. We can get some new uh, men at arms. How many should we get? Should we just should we just rock out and get twelve? I don't know if we have the weapons for them, but we'll go for it. <laughs> Bandits are gonna be so confused. Yes, they're too expensive. Oh, it's fifty. It's expensive, but but there are oh I see what you're saying. We should get some mercenaries because we could get some Frenchmen for 45 bucks. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So we got one. We've got one troop for our retinue. So now we can actually mobilize them. So we'll place them right here. And then we've got our French troops. We'll make them run to right here. Oh, actually, don't run that way. <laughs> run this way. And I think that their stamina is much better. What about the maintenance cost? We're going to disband them as soon as we get rid of this. Honestly, maybe if I'm smart, we don't even... Maybe we can just... Okay. You know what? We're going to try something. I'm going to see. I've never used the archers correctly. I've used them for melee. So we've got these guys coming over here already. I desperately want this. I do not want. Run, run. Do not let them. Okay. <gasps> we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. We're going to, we're going to just going to snipe the bandit camp. Just go get it. Get your influence, uh, Hillebolt. Frenchies, go and clear the camp. Go and clear the camp. We need that money. We need that money. <laughs> okay. And now we'll just immediately... Can we just... Okay, wait. Okay, get rid of this one. These two. Disband it. There we go. We got rid of the French people. And... We are now owners of that money and we will send that to our treasury again add i'm sorry guys <laughs> um can i flank your militia on one side and the mercenaries on the other yes yeah finders keepers here's the thing you guys are claiming all the land while not really doing a lot so i feel like i feel like it's fair game for me just to go go up there and clear that camp. Um, yeah, they've cleared already, or they've claimed half of the map. We need more influence, desperately. Um, <laughs> flanking does actually help. That's good to know. I would need to know how to do it. No more French <laughs> taunting. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
the the French really helped us out. They were very, 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 very nice. Pressing from both sides breaks the enemy. Okay. So next time, okay, first of all, I'm going to leave my troops over here again because that's what I like to do. Let's not do that. So we'll bring them back home. And then I'll disband this unit once they get back home as well. Oh, they are, they are already home. There we go. Uh, you also get a, a, a bonus for attacking from behind. Okay. So for the next one, we will, we will try that. Game's getting released next Friday. Uh, when you build more burgage plots, uh, might they be larger? We have to get more uh, weaponry. So to that end, we do have an iron deposit, but it's a terrible iron deposit. Um, let's see. This is some land that we could claim. That is a reason. Oh, my goodness. That is all the weapons. So we have to claim this land right here. We cannot let Hildenbolt take this. Because if we can get this, that's weapons. That's weapons right there. All of the weapons. Uh, kids yearn. The kids yearn for the mines. <laughs> yeah. We will send them straight there. <laughs> it is the whole family that works, so I assume that the children are going to the mines. Uh, how much gold to buy buy a region? It's it's a, a thousand influence, so not not any gold. Um, so the ways that you can get influence are building churches. So I am curious. If we upgrade the church, if we get influence, we could test that theory. Uh, why don't we? Make the most inefficient way to get to this mine ever. And we'll start setting this up. This is, uh, we have no people still. That's still our biggest limitation. But... Uh, what am I, what am I, right here, right here, right here. Mining pit. Once we have this, we'll be able to... Th we, there's a ton of clay right here. We can turn the clay into... Uh, we can turn the clay into roof tiles, which sell for a lot. Yeah, the tithe gains you influence uh, once you have a lot of food to give to the church. We have none. But here's the thing. The trading post... We'll be able to trade away our roof tiles, which are worth eight import, which is really valuable. Once we do that, we can start to import other things, even if it's really expensive, just for a little while so that we can start to get those level three buildings. Because at this point, we're the three level three buildings away from having that next policy, which will basically unlock everything. Um, let's see where we're at. With our livestock, because that's one of our one of our limitations at this point too. Also, we'll upgrade these buildings as soon as we can. The rest of these, yeah, we can upgrade almost all of these now. Oh, the tab, the tab. What are you guys thinking? I I've been holding back upgrading these burgage plots but I'm almost thinking that maybe I need to stop um do it do it I think I think I should um here's here's one of the the interesting things in the game so I know that the tailor's workshop I need three of them because there are three different types of clothing that you can build the clothes the cloaks the gambesons I don't know what those take so I, I could upgrade to this tailor's workshop and then not really know what materials I need. Same thing with the cobbler's workshop. And I assume the joiner's workshop needs wood. I can't really tell. Uh, the brewery extension needs malt. Um, we're going to go for all of them. We'll just start to figure it out wherever we can fit these in. That's level one, so we can't do it there. I will hold some of these back. I really want to get the... Uh, I really want to level some of these up to have artisans. Problem is, a lot of our homes that have leveled up 
don't have backyard plots, which is my fault. Uh, they're, are they going in for mass? That's funny. I didn't realize that they were doing that. Let's give them a, a, a road. All sides. That is that is a very nice touch. Um, okay, I'm going to build some more burgage plots around here. Try to loop around the trees. And I want these all to be big enough. That we end up with uh, nice backyard plots. I've got to I've got to leave a road to to access this place. Right now we don't really have one. Okay, that's not no backyard. Okay, that one will actually do the trick. We'll get a small accessory building. And we can have two lots on that, so that'll work. Um, and then we'll add another layer of roads back here, which I'm sure is super historically accurate. <laughs> but I'm all about connectivity. Don't forget a dog park. We do have a dog park. This is our dog park right here. We won't build in our dog park. Uh, we'll 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 formalize our dog park by building homes everywhere. There we go. That it, this is our formal dog park now. <gasps> Too small? What? If I do that. Okay, there we go. All right. So this tree right here, this is where every dog goes to do its business. That's our dog park. Uh, dog park or at least one ox park? Yeah. <laughs> a little shrine. Yeah, we'll put a shrine to the dogs. That will feel, this is the sign to our dog park. And because we care a lot about our dogs, it's our highest priority to build this shrine. I don't even know what this takes. Cosmetic only, at least for now. No construction costs. We just need someone to acknowledge it and then it will be done. Dug a hole. Hanging out, there we go. We've got our shrine. Can I rename this? I cannot. That's a bummer. I wanna I want to rename this. That's a that's a feature down the line, I hope we get. So I can say this is a dog park. The dog park sign. <laughs> Butterful. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, we, we don't have a we, we, we don't have a, a hydrant, but we do have a shrine. So <laughs> we've got that going for us. The dev is actually really receptive to uh, So I don't know if you guys saw. We'll we'll take a we'll take a break at some point, so I can show you the post from the dev. Um, basically saying what the game is and isn't, and I just I really appreciated that post. Uh, before we do that though, we have our livestock trading post, and I've assigned one worker here. And the way that this works is a lot like the trading post, including that our import. Price currently has a tariff. This tariff will be removed once we have uh, once we have that policy adopted. So, again, another reason why we want that. But we have the room right now. Forty-two sheep. Do we adopt? Okay, we didn't get the sheep breeding policy. So, if we want the sheep, we've got a ton of overhead. I'm gonna say maybe ten for now. So we'll import. 10 sheep and they will get right to work on that uh, so the same thing with our other livestock now so the so the normal trading post uses horses so I'm going to import well it will say that we want one surplus for our horses that'll go at the stable along with our oxen and then for our oxen I think we want two more of those so we'll say we'll import two of those for four total. So that will get these imported. It's So right here, it says what we have right now. Right here is our desired surplus. So that should get it just right for us. Um, his po Bill, his post is like the precise opposite of what Paradox DLC goes to guns to. <laughs> uh, the Wolf and Wee Park. Love it. <laughs> 
Whiskey for your men, one surplus for your horses. <laughs> That's all we're getting. We get one horse. Um, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor. I'm really great about not finding the timer for a raid. And I'm also great about not seeing bandit camps show up. So I'm going to rely on you guys. If you see it, please let me know. Botanical, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, if you guys see things, let me know. Uh, Super Chickens, thank you for the, for the Prime. Uh, GSCJJ, thank you for the Prime. And OEF Veteran, thank you for the Prime as well. Appreciate you all. Uh, another Rulers. Ooh, a Bandit Camp. Okay. Now we get to experience the flanking that you guys were all talking about. All right, let's slow things down. We've got money. Manor Lords is great. We are... Uh, it's time for war. So let's do it. Oh, oh. I never disbanded these guys again. They're sitting on the edge, so that's perfect. Uh, we'll go there. And then let's get our... our, our uh, there's our Frenchmen. They're back. We'll sign the contract. We'll get some archers. And where are they going to be coming in? I'll just... Bring them over here. Okay, so they're coming from that way. Great. Speed it right up. Base Frenchman. Agreed. <laughs> uh, how's the performance? The performance of this game is ridiculous. Uh, if you go... I would highly recommend, if you're curious... Also, performance, I'm getting over 200 FPS. It's it's ridiculous. Um, but the, the, the requirements in this game are not very, very high. And we took a look at what the game looks like on the lowest settings. And it's still pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, minimum requirements for the games? We'll, we'll, we'll take a look. Because I do want to take a look. After we clear this bandit camp. Okay. Oh, they're already over there. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, everyone. We're running. I just... Oh, my goodness. I wonder if I've told that guy what I think about him. Because I'm going to. I don't have anything to say. Can't stand him. All right. Well, we just paid all this money. They've already cleared it. Oh, my goodness. That is so irritating. That is super irritating. Um. Okay. Well, that's that. We're not going to make it over there. So we'll just... Goodbye. Goodbye, uh, my French friends. Oh, no, the, the Frenchmen were wonderful. They came quickly and they left when we needed them to. It was perfect. Low approval rating? That's because we're taxing people and we don't have enough food at the market. We're too busy trying to fight bandits and, and nothing else. And, uh, yeah, we'll let, we'll let our spearmen go home. Okay. It's it's been it's been uh, it's been bad. <laughs> All right, so food is our big issue. I wonder, is there anything that we can do to improve it? Probably not. The only thing, we have this rich animal deposit, and I'm wondering if there's value in having another uh, hunting camp over here. I never tried that. We did. We recruited more. It's 50 gold, so it's much more expensive than than uh, getting some mercenaries to come help us out. Especially if we're not using them. Backyards? Okay, okay, okay. I'll bite. Backyards. We have lots of money. We'll do it. Chickens. Uh, where else? We'll add a bunch of chickens. Except for here, we'll add a cobbler and a joiner and a boyer's workshop. Now we're out of people. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I went nuts. I went nuts. Okay. No more taxing. No more taxing. 
We'll let the people love us again. Get some vegetables instead of chickens. We'll do that. So we have way too many artisans. That was the problem I made. I made a, a that was a that was a fool. It was a folly. I, I shouldn't have done that. Um, okay, I'm gonna take our forager away. That's still not enough. Shoot, that tells you everything you need to know about the strategy I just employed right there. It was bad. Uh, the manor is on the cliff side. It's a great location for the manor. Looks like a normal house right now. <laughs> uh, get about 50%. So yeah, that's that's the goal. So we we stopped taxing. And now hopefully we'll get above. That gets us to 44. And we've got a bunch of stuff getting built. And some of the stuff is already like level 2 immediately. So we'll do this. We get lots of money. There we go. Um, raid? We have a raid coming? <gasps> Where are they? Where are the raiders? Where are the raiders? Are they on the edge? I don't see them. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't see them. Have you guys seen them? I don't. Pause and then check. Enemy unit has been spotted. Aha! There they are. Okay. Well, now I know where they are. So let's see. Shouldn't have disbanded our Frenchmen so quickly. Let's go ahead. And we'll grab all these guys. And they're going to want to burn down. Uh, what's the closest thing to them? Probably this. So not. It's not great. But it's not the worst. I'm going to. We'll, we'll, we'll go right up here. And then I'm going to immediately bring our French friends back. Uh, Spearman to arms. Retinue is 50 just once. It's 50 per soldier. Uh, the max retinue we can have is 12. So, yeah, it's not great. And off to, uh, the other thing is we're not building any weapons. So that's another problem. Ooh. Do you guys see this? Uh, there was a flame on that. I think that these raiders want to burn our city down. So we absolutely need to stop them. They're running too. Uh, where are these guys? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You guys, go faster. Go faster. Get over there. Get over there. What are you doing? Faster, faster, faster. Seems like they're chilling. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are, we are, we are screwed. <laughs> oh boy, we are screwed. Okay. Where are we with... Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm pausing because I'm losing my cool and I've got to get back in my zen place because if we do that, it'll be fine. I don't know where our soldiers are. We'll just call them up. Right over... Th <laughs> that is not helpful. Our retinue is over there. So I'm going to bring them over here. Where are... Where's our spear militia? Pick up the pace. They are also over there? I don't even see them. Oh, guys. Yeah, I'm going to need those hugs. This is going to be rough. <laughs> we will rebuild. But it's going to be a painful little while. I have a feeling 
they are going to just wreck us. Uh, can we double click to zoom to units? We can. Okay, actually, we're in a better spot than I thought we were. So yeah, they're coming down. And then we'll hold a defensive position over here. Now, where are those enemies? I don't see them anymore. Are they, they hidden from us? So we can't see them, but I know that they're there. Where are they? I feel like they're hunting us. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know where they are. I don't know if they disappeared. They go away and they just faked us out and got they got us to pay for the, the Frenchman again. They're just gonna bleed us dry. Um Yeah, this region is lawless. Which is funny because the public order is is wonderful here. Okay. We're just gonna leave our troops here in a defensive stance for a couple of minutes. Oh, there they are, there they are. Oh, 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 there they are, there they are. Okay, so now we are we have the low ground, which is a problem. However, we've got our Frenchies, and they're coming over here. So have you not moved? What are you guys doing? I'm paying good money for you just to hang out. That's a bunch of garbage. All right. We've got this other group. And they'll go up this way. And I think we've got to fall back. What do you think? <laughs> well, yeah, we'll show what the Frenchies are made of, which apparently is, is slow walking it over here and just collecting money. Uh, hold your right click and adjust your formations. I don't know what that means. Uh, formations. Do they get paid by the hour? They get paid by the month. There's an ad? Okay. For a month, I will stop. Or for a, for a minute, I will stop. Right mouse click and drag. So I, when I hover over, I can move individual yes, units. So I think that's the way that I do it. Yes, oh, you're assuming I can... Okay. Blade. Is this is this what you're talking about? Run. So like if I'm if I have this selected, what does this what does this even do? <laughs> I don't get it. It looks like zoning yes, to me. Sire. Those five arrows. So yeah, I see. So I'm basically just it's showing me the line that they're gonna walk to get over here. You're. You're setting the formation the direction they're facing. Oh, the dots are the way that... Wait, wait. So, the way that they're facing... Gotcha. Okay, so now if I do this, they're facing the wrong way. I don't know how to... Let's see how I can... Uh, how, do I, how do I change that, do you think? So, if I'm dragging out here... I wonder if I tab or alt... No idea. Drag the other direction? Yeah, if I drag the other direction, it'll change it. But now I'm on the wrong side. Drag from... Oh, drag from the destination. <gasps> genius. Genius. Okay. Okay. That's super helpful. Because now I know to bring them over here. We'll do the exact same thing with our Frenchies. We want to have those behind. So we have our spearmen in the front. They are retinue in the middle. And then we have our, 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 uh, our archers behind. Okay. Okay, I am learning. I am learning. Honestly, though, I wonder if they should be in the farm field. Although that's not high ground. You'd almost think I never played RTS games. <laughs> Whatever gave you that thought? Okay, we're going for it. Get the French into the field. That's where we're, we're sending them, and they're facing the correct direction now. <laughs> Bowman can shoot from very far away. Okay. I don't feel great about our victory just yet. 
but we we have greatly outnumbered them, which makes me feel good. Uh, this plays just like Total War, clearly. Not a big player of them. I'm not at all. <laughs> okay. Well, they're walking very calmly for a bunch of ruthless bandits that want to destroy our city. Just terrible men walking through. So this is a good start. Oh, look at we have a, our sheep is just running away. It's like no way, I'm out. Agnes, get back over there. <laughs> or are they letting them out? Okay. It feels like everyone is really calm. Like uncomfortably calm. Okay, I'm gonna move these the spearmen here, and then we're gonna stand our ground. Stand fast. Okay, and then we have our retinue right here, yes, and we will stand our ground there as well. Wait, wait, wait! We're facing the wrong way. We're facing the wrong way. Pick up the pace. And then, and then we stand our ground. Oh, I don't know that that was good. I don't know that that was good. Bows are being attacked. Oh, no, 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 no. Where, where, where are they? Where are they? Okay, okay, okay. Um. I'm going to pull them back here. And they're running, which is also great. <laughs> more, more adept at dealing with city sewage problems. Yes. You could say that. Oh, 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 run, 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 run. Okay, they're going in for melee combat, which is not ideal. Uh, where are these guys? Way over here. Um, okay, okay. What if they come here to help? And they run. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, this isn't going well for us, except that we have, oh, we're actually getting, oh my goodness. So they're shooting over here. They can shoot a long ways. That is impressive. Holy cow. Uh, these bandits walk, <laughs> like no country for old men. They're walking into a, uh, into, into their deaths. Cause we are dramatically outnumbering them, except that they are just destroying our, our spear militia. I wonder. Push forward. I mean, we got nothing left. I don't know what to say. Outside of, I shouldn't have had all these people running again. Um, but I think that's it. We'll get over here. Regroup. I mean, I think that they're done. Aren't, aren't, aren't they done? I'm super confused now. Okay. <laughs> um, Not done. Two groups. They look done. Things are bugging. Hold on. So let's see. Got a bunch of family members. Enemy units been spotted. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're done. <laughs> I'm just going to speed it up and see if we just needed time to fly. Aha. You know what the real issue is now? It's not done until we get rid of the, the evidence. So we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to build a body pit, a body burial pit. Once we do that and we hide the evidence, this will be done. We already got the influence. We're up to 930. So it didn't really give us a lot of information, but it wasn't great. Yeah, we're going to disband them. We're on pause right now. And let's hide the evidence way back in the woods. Way back in the woods. They don't deserve anyone to know where this is. And I want to speed that up because the last thing you'd want is for the farmer, the one farmer that we have, 
to have to walk through all of these bodies. Uh, the other thing is, I said that we would turn off day night, and it's been our 30 minutes, so I'll turn that up. Uh, yeah, this place is for sure haunted. All right, let's disband. The French have always come to our uh, our rescue. We appreciate them. We lost a couple of men ourselves, but I'd say we came out stronger in the end, and we're close to being able to claim some land. Actually, I shouldn't have disbanded them. Should have looked. Do we have any more bandit camps anywhere? Because if we get one more, one more, we can uh, claim some land, but there's nothing available for us right now. No big deal. Not a big deal. We'll get it eventually. Uh, where are we? We are right here. Um, there was or never will be a course pit in Olsenshire. Exactly. Now they no, they don't deserve to be in Olsenshire. They can be over, uh, in the middle of nowhere. I can't, yeah, right here. Let's speed this up. Uh, you need to change a house to a Fletcher to create your own bows. We did that. We did that. So the question is, has that home leveled yet? Uh, we have a joiner right here. What does the joiner need? Let's slow it down. Oh my goodness. So the joiner, actually we would need three of those as well. Small shields, that's helpful. Large shields, also helpful. Wooden parts, I don't even know what those are for. Um, then right here we have our cobbler. They're making shoes. And I'm, I don't know what they need. No idea what they need. <laughs> I would assume leather. Um, uh, burgage plot, burgage plot. I, where did we put... Fletcher, okay. And here, no idea what they need. I would assume planks, because that's what they have. Oh, 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 yeah, they do need. They need planks. So, for our cobbler, shields? That doesn't make any sense. Shields, spears, and leather? I'm missing something. Um, hmm. We don't have an orchard, so they make leather cobblers. <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, Daedric, De uh, Daedric Demon, thank you so much for four months of Prime. Uh, Gabe, thank you so much for uh, Tier 1. Four months, appreciate you. Uh, Daedric Demon, thank you uh, for... Uh, you continued your gift to Tier 1. Thank you so much. Uh, Ian the Wonder Dog, thank you so much for the Prime. Hope I'm doing well on a rainy April day. Yes, I'm doing really well. Hope you're doing well as well. Orin Lane, thank you for the prime. Two months. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, so thank you all so much. All right. We're going to let this roll. Um, I really want those bodies taken care of. Um, for level three, we're nowhere near it right now. Clothing, tavern. I'm thinking... I want to just, we're going to start our first trade route. It's going to be a, it's going to be kind of a, a stinky trade route. Um, I think that we are going to import some barley. It's so expensive. 12 gold to import some barley so that we could process it. I wonder if it's like at this point, if it's going to cost us that much, do we just get the ale? Um, the ale is 18. Yeah, I mean, at that point, I think that that's... Ah, oh, it's still a lot. We need more people. Ultimately, that's our big thing. We don't have... The unburied bodies are hurting us now. Um, not enough food. Oh, it's all a mess. Up the taxes... If we up the taxes, we are going to... Uh, yeah, we'll check our fertility and see if we can grow some barley. We just don't have any people. Um, so importing would be really helpful. Look at this. No fertility for barley or flax. Emmer's good. That's it. Emmer and rye. And we don't have... To unlock rye, 
you actually have to unlock use a policy that's a, a development point so really all we have is wheat here which isn't great so is there anywhere on our land that we could do barley it's not great guys it's not great um Mm. I think we're going to wait for our last animals to get brought in. Then we're going to take this worker from our livestock trading post. <laughs> Barley is 19%. We're just going to roll with it. It's going to really stink. I think we need barley more than wheat, so we'll switch both of these over. It's going to just not be very productive, but we need ale so bad that it doesn't matter. Um, check the other claim territories. They are probably considerably better. Um, I can't, I mean, it can't be any worse. Look at that. He claimed the one that has barley fertility. This one has none, none, none. That stinks. So we really need to be able to import this. No food. Yeah. Oh, just. Okay. Pause for a second. We'll take our pastor. And make our pastor. Grab some berries. Hmm. Just not a great spot. Grab some from our granary and send them out here as well. Oh, guys. <laughs> we need to declare war after taking away our beer. The Great Ale War. Yeah. So. I am thinking a lot about beer. I feel like we need the beer so that we can get to level three. <laughs> uh, too many people who aren't workers because I upgraded the houses. I know. I know. Uh, let's keep working on. We'll get some vegetables going over here. We'll upgrade these lots that allow us to. Vegetables. Chickens. We've only got three more of these upgrades that we can actually do. And I'm going to roll with it. Well, three more if we were to do chickens. So we'll do lots of vegetables. That should help us some. Uh, and then are there any of these that we can actually add additional housing to? Sorry, tab. I still don't know what this means, so it's not super helpful. Uh, but there we go. Uh, okay. Lots of carrots. We're going to have carrots everywhere. Uh, in olden times, armies basically marched with beer. Yes. Uh, the chickens and the goats do not turn families into artisans. They will produce a little bit of food. It will add to market variety. And they'll they'll sell it at the market. So if it goes in the pantry, the pantry will uh, the the granary rather will open up a, a stand and sell the food at the market. So it can be helpful. You can see our food stall. See, this is what I was talking about. So we did that, and now look. Even though we've got no food, all we are is ale and a better church away from being able to upgrade to level three. So we need more people so that we can get some tiles. And, and do it. Oh, Tom Ray. Oh, greetings, usually from Tom Ray, Finland, but tom tonight and tomorrow from Madison. Well, from one isthmus to another. Welcome. Hopefully enjoy it here. Uh, chicken, goats, and vegetable plots can result in self-sustaining food in this game, though. Okay. So we have no goats right now. So maybe the next one will do goats. Beehives for honey make mead yeah I think so it's helpful to have most most of the houses that can do that but if you want density you can put in smaller plots and just have a lot of workers now my guess is when we can have a gigantic wall having the density could be helpful for us so I think there are, are reasons why you might want both will there be more stardew streams yes I thought about doing stardew tonight but reasonably, I've just been really enjoying Manor Lords. And knowing that there is a week before it comes out, I figure you guys probably want to see this. And next week, we'll probably do Stardew. The Stardew is going to be crowd control, too. So that'll be, it'll be fun. 
you can do two homes per plot if the plot is large enough. So like this one right here, when we laid this one out, it was showing an accessory uh, unit on the side. So for this one, if we expand our living space with two lumber, we get another home right over here. But this one, for instance, does not allow it. Okay. We have a little bit of money. The goats are 25. As soon as we have enough wealth for this, we're getting goats. Uh, see, K-Sids, hey Phil, do you know much about Alberta, Canada? Prairie urbanism movement is growing slowly in your hometown Edmonton and was on Strong Towns recently. However, right now I live in uh, Fort, Mc uh, Mc Fort McMurray, Alberta, looking up the place. Uh, some interesting planning going on here. I have heard very good things about that area. Um, I don't know a lot of specifics, but I know that it's incredibly rare to get Canadian planners outside of Vancouver or Toronto speaking with American planners. And there were some from uh, from Alberta, particular uh, Edmonton. So I've, I sat, I've sat in on some. I actually, I need to, uh, to re-up my, so I am a certified planner and you have to have a certain number of credits to maintain your certifications. I am at the edge. <laughs> so over the next little while, the next month, I have to get a whole bunch of planning uh, cert credits. So I will be, uh, I'll be doing that. I'll see if there's anything about uh, Alberta in there. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. Crosszilla, thank you so much for the tier one. Appreciate you. And thank you for sharing. Appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, your city of London, Ontario, doesn't have great planning. So you've been building the same BRT system for five years. I mean, we, we're building BRT here in Madison. It's taken forever to plan, but the implementation is going so fast. I was, I was looking at it yesterday, and it's just, it's kind of wild. There we go. Got our goats. Kind of wild seeing how fast it's all coming together. Uh, quick CS question. Have you tried to replicate a real city before? Uh, case of waffles. I have two real city builds. Search for my channel and search for the term real city recreated. I did one in London and Venice, Florida. And honestly, the Venice, Florida video, I still think is one of the best videos that I've ever put out. I think it was, it was one of those that kind of just like serendipitously came together and it was a random 2 a.m. idea and I put it together in like a day. And I just, I, I haven't been able to make a video that good, I think, since. That was really good anyway. Yeah, I made, I made good videos since, but I was really proud of that one. Still, still am proud of that one. Uh, with CS2 out, do I plan on remaking other cities? I mean, we kind of did that with, um, uh, we took the plan for Canberra, uh, Australia, and built some of that out. It's tough. I mean, right now, until some of, in particular, the land value bugs in City Skylines 2 are resolved. It's really tough to do uh, some things. So yeah, it's tough. I'm I'm not huge into recreating other cities unless I do like the, the whole time lapse thing. And at that, you can't really do a large city because it just it just takes too long. So it's tough. Rest in Virginia. Why do I know Reston, Virginia? I don't know what 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 is fate. What is there's something notable about that? Plan Town. That's what it is. So that is like the size. Like because I, I mean that's a manageable size. I think most people when they say you know are you going to recreate a real city? They're thinking are you going to build Manhattan? You know, which I guess that one piece of New York you could, but you if you're going to do a city like that, you have to have lots of assets. And honestly, that's really for people who are good at procedural objects. Like, someone who could pull it off. I'm not sure if she's here right now. Uh, Cities by Diana. If Diana's here, she can do stuff like that. Um, I mean, the work on Saltaire, which is basically Salt Lake City. Um, outstanding. Also, heavy on PO. Poplar Ponderosa, good to see you, buddy. Um, but yeah, Abel, I was talking about your hometown. Sorry, Jake, I'm sorry. I uh, should do one recreating Quebec City. For it's the only medieval organic growth city in the U.S. That is that is precisely why Quebec is on my list of places to see in North America. Heard really great things about Quebec. 
ad break in progress. I'm sorry. There's a hype train. Guys, thank you so much. Joshy Poo, good to see you, and thank you for the Prime. Uh, Nadar Nukes, thank you so much for the Prime as well. Uh, Poop Belter, thank you for the Tier 1. Hey, City Planner Plays. Uh, you were elected tonight as chair of your planning commission at your city in California. First thing I sign next week is uh, ab ab abolishing minimum parking standards. My thoughts on that. I think that that is amazing. And parking minimums. I have such mixed emotions. I mean, just generally, you should look up why, what parking minimums are based on. So you'll go into this... It's this ITE trip generation manual, and it seems so scientific. So you go in there and they say, if you have a gas station, your gas station must have one parking or four parking stalls per employee, plus three for every 10 visitors, whatever. Uh, so there are all of these things that appear to be scientifically based on a whole bunch of observations. Uh, but then you find out, if you look, it's actually based on like one person's observation in the 70s uh, or three observation points in, in, the, in the 80s. And you end up overbuilding parking and it's just insane. And it's even worse for single family homes when you start to see like, first of all, hype train, you guys, that's the second hype train. Uh, the Jack Nasty, thank you so much again. Uh, King Louie, thank you so much. Uh, Nair, thank you so much. That, thank you for the biddies. I appreciate you guys all. Thank you so much. Um, I know that in, in some of the cities I worked in, it was one parking stall for a residential home per bedroom, plus one for the unit itself. So if you have a pretty standard three-bedroom home, you have to have four parking stalls, half of which have to be off-street. So now you have to have a two-car garage and then a driveway big enough to accommodate two more car, two more garage stalls and then everyone wants on-street parking, and you end up with these absolutely insane uh, wide streets and all this parking on these homes. It's just it's just way too much. So if you can eliminate those parking minimums, you can start to get rid of some of those crazy parking requirements and maybe eliminate garages as a way to reduce the cost of a, of, of a house. That's one thing that I know is, is very difficult in a lot of places. You will, you will find out that you there is an off-street covered parking minimum. And if you don't have a parking standard, you don't have to have that covered parking. So yeah, it's yeah. And, and fate, we will look at that. Um, Code House, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. A tie bot, thank you so much for the prime. Alpha Merc, thank you so much. Alpha Merc Studios, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, seriously, too cute for you. Thank you for the tier one. You like my words, Magic Man. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are absolutely insane tonight and i appreciate you guys really like really really appreciate that um so yeah yeah so i will get off my so like i i yeah i am very anti-parking minimum i think that they're absolutely crazy i think that the the thing about it is the banks are already going to require things so why should the city do it too the banks are not going to allow you to build a building that they don't think is viable so if they think that the developer can build a building and have it be viable with less parking or no parking then let them do it let them do it. The city shouldn't be dictating that you need parking. Anyway, that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> let's look at let's look at this one thing real quick before I just I get I start ranting because I will rant. <laughs> I'm already halfway there. The market determines designs, and unfortunately, we can't get residents who want uh, the two car garages for their main cave, their man caves or she sheds. Yeah, I mean, it, there is a there, there is absolutely a cultural component to that. That like, you need to be honest and and realistic with yourself. But but still, I don't know. I just think that when the city is requiring it, there are people who don't want it, and you make it impossible to to facilitate what those people want. And I don't think that that is the role of planners or governments in general to to, to force people to build parking that they don't want. And culture does change. Uh, here's the thing. Culture, if 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 you have if you're in a position where you can't afford a house unless it doesn't have all the parking, you'll probably change your culture. <laughs> you'll accept a home that doesn't have it. I lived in a house in Wisconsin that doesn't have a basement because it was all that I could afford. 
and it was fine. I was able to live. I played Banished in that house every day, and I didn't think about how I didn't have a two car garage or a basement. It just it worked. It was I could I could sleep. I had a place where I could have a garden. It was fine. It was what I was looking for. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop ranting. Uh, If you can't afford a house that has a big garage, how will you afford a car anyway? It was right next to transit, so I didn't need it. <laughs> uh, all right. A few words from the dev before launch into early access. So this is what makes me so happy. I don't know if there's a better way for me to look at this. Okay, okay, hold on. There is. I'll look at it on this website and... community hub okay and of course that makes it no larger that is perfect oh there it is so basically i appreciate that the dev has gone through and said that this is not a total war competitor it's not an empire management grand strategy game it's not an rpg it's not a competitive fast-paced R R rts it is a city builder it is a city builder, a medieval city builder that has these components. Uh, it's early access. There are going to be things that aren't finished. Um, check out the streams and let's plays before playing. So it says, you guys, look at this. Make your decision accordingly. Um, won't offer a roadmap because they can't do it. Like, I just, I appreciate the transparency and the honesty about what this is and what it isn't. And, um... I, I just, I I really respect Slavic Magic, Greg, uh, for the the approach that they've been taking. So this is what I wanted to show. So if you haven't seen this, and you're curious about Manor Lords, where it's at, where it's going, what it is, what it isn't, read this. Uh, it's super super helpful. Um. Uh. The pandemic showed what a bad idea it was to depend on public transit. I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, during the pandemic, people had to use public transit. They opened the windows and people wore masks. They were able to figure it out. They, uh, they, it was, it was tough. I, I think it was tougher on the budgets of transit agencies than anything else. Uh, I didn't realize a fellow, I was a fellow Midwestern. Are you from Iowa? Currently getting your undergraduate in planning and. Uh, in planning and graduate the spring. Iowa has a great, I think people would be surprised to hear this, but Iowa has an excellent planning tradition. Uh, and the number of planners that I've met in the Madison area and in Wisconsin generally that are uh, from Iowa, kind of wild, tons. Uh, in fact, I was interviewed uh, for a job by an Iowan uh, here in Madison at one point in time. Okay. Uh, they cut the bus frequency to almost nothing. Yeah. So V5, VV, I agree. Yeah. So during the pandemic, some of the routes were cut to just bare bones, nothing. And at that point, I mean, I, I was in in some of those conversations. I thought it would have made more sense in many instances to shut down routes that aren't doing anything uh, rather than just having coverage and really focusing on ensuring that the routes that are productive or have some ridership have higher frequencies but it's a tough time um x madison resident here a nice city but you haven't been here in five years it's 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 even better um all right i'm gonna take a quick break to explain what we're doing next so we have a couple of new residents we're about 50 percent for our approval and i want to get some clothing going so we've got our pasture here which is full of sheep we're going to take, let's see, do we have, we've got all of our animals. So we're going to steal this employee, gone. Uh, and then basically we're going to open up this supply chain. So we're going to need a weaver's workshop. We're also going to need um, a dyer's workshop if we want to make clothing. So we'll take that. And I think we'll kind of keep this over in this area because we've already got some of this stuff over here already. 
Actually, no. You know what? The Weaver's not going to smell. We'll put the Weaver downtown. It'll be fine. Um, kind of on the outskirts, as we have with a lot of these sorts of uses. And then for the dye workshop as well, the dyer's workshop, we'll keep that close by. Um, be well, you did not miss the crowd control starter stream. We're probably going to do that next week. I, I just, I really have been playing, I, and I, I think you may, be, may have been able to see it. Uh, I've been playing nothing but Manor Lords, and it's all I feel like playing right now. So it was my fault. I'm sorry for the false alarm on the crowd control stream. That'll be next week. This time, I promise. I, the other thing is, I don't want to divide that in half. So I know that I'm going to be stressed out during the crowd control stream. So we'll just do that only. Lane, you prefer Manor Lords? <laughs> I think a lot of people like. I also, I mean, for YouTube videos, I just released a Manor Lords video today. We are going to be doing another. That I have another Manor Lords video halfway done. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just super into it right now. Super into it. Uh, Jose, you love my YouTube videos. Just uh, awesome. Put a face to the voice. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Um, Ever since the face reveal, it's been it's been nice. Uh, the other thing, so do we have barley going over here? Uh, let's see what happened with that. Um, and here's one of the things. Another thing I haven't figured out. So we're showing surplus goods, but it's changed my view up here of a bunch of random stuff. And I'm not 100% sure how to get this back. Um, I wonder. Some games will allow you to switch this. I have, yeah, I have no idea. Literally no idea. Uh, how does my family not walk into this in, in midstream? One of the reasons that I start the time I do is my daughters start going to bed at 7.30. So by the time I start streaming, my wife kind of takes over and uh, we're kind of just there in bed. My wife goes to bed much earlier than I do, so it ends up working out all right. Red Moon, a gentleman never tells where he lives on a stream. That's insanity. <laughs> if, if there's anything I will never do, it's that. <laughs> Uh, zoom back in and out updates the inventory quantities. Ah, oh, I like that. That was great. I just wanted to see if we have any barley, and we don't. So it didn't. We haven't done anything. I'm gonna just import it, guys. I really didn't want to do this because of how expensive it is. Okay, actually, I'm gonna ask you guys. It's currently fallow, but I thought that it was barley first. Um, should we get ale or barley? So the price difference isn't extreme. The barley is going to cost us 12 because we have our crazy import price. The ale is going to cost us 18. So what we save in employees, it might make it worthwhile. There is a poll going on, so if you haven't seen it, ale, everyone says ale. <laughs> okay, well, I know that I'm going to need to build... Um, the tavern. So we'll put that... Right down here. And I'm going to put this, well, no, no, I think we'll put it up here. We'll have a, a nice view from our tavern. Be able to look down, grab a beer, catch this, catch the, the beautiful views, and then stumble down the side of the hill. That'll be beautiful. <laughs> um, so let's, let's see. Yeah, ale one. We're going to import ale. That'll get us very close. The other thing is we have enough employees now to start working our mining pit, our clay mine. So I'm going to put one employee there. And then I also want to make some roof tiles with our clay, clay furnace. 
I'm gonna move the clay furnace closer to town, but not right in it. It seems like this would be really stinky. Uh, that hillside tavern is nice. <laughs> it's gonna be wonderful. So many people are gonna really enjoy uh, the the potential free fall. Okay, so let's get this trade going. Uh, we've got enough money for it, so that's helpful. We should also, when we have enough money, we're gonna establish a trade route to sell some of our roof tiles because it'll make a ton of money for us. And that's how we'll pay for our ale. So we'll establish this trade route. We'll import this and I wanna import at least, oh my goodness, 25. That's gonna be so expensive. Um, so we didn't need a trade route for that, but we'll get it. Oh no, we did, we did. We had to have a specialized route for that. We'll need to wait for the other one. We need 25. Pay for the ale now, but fix the farm to help with your crop production. Yeah, we have that going. It's gonna, it's still, this is, the fertility here is terrible. We really need to take some of uh, uh, Hill and Bolt's land up here because it's very fertile. Uh, otherwise, once we can import it, then it's not gonna matter. Uh, will I play Frostpunk 2? Funny story. I thought I was going to be. Um, it didn't work out. I don't know what happened. Um, that said, I, the timing was so close to this, I'm happy. We all know what that means. Hooch, this is the same stream. Smaller farms. You think smaller farms? Okay. I'll, I'll buy it. But we'll do one teeny tiny farm. Um, what do you think? I just I should do multiple. Okay, there's one, two. Three. I like the way it looks. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> uh, one more. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Okay. So we have four. I'll get rid of this one. So what you're saying is we should rotate. So we'll do fallow here, then wheat, then barley. Then here... We'll do wheat, then barley, then fallow. And here, we'll do barley, then fallow, then wheat. And now we always have one of the three things happening. There we go. That is smart. Yeah, the fertility view tells us that this is fertile for, for literally nothing except for wheat. But we're going to roll with it anyway, and we'll get just a little bit, and it'll be good enough. We'll be fine. Uh, crop rotation, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> We've done it. We've done it. Uh, let's add two farmers there. And let's see, do we have, is this completed? It's not. We're not going fast. Go fast. Go fast. Um, the other thing, do we have any more battles we could take on? No. We do. We do. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the time for war is now. We will get our Frenchman back. The army is weak, but it's fine. Performance on a pre release build is amazing. Um, there is our Frenchman. I wonder. We'll just start to send them over. And then we're going to grab these two units and rally them right here. Um, so I set up three fields for, for two crops and one, uh, one season for, for gaining fertility. 
Uh, Zigster, yeah, we had a good conversation about the, the CS2 uh, announcement. And even though I've seen a lot of people being fairly negative in here, the, the, the sentiment was generally pretty positive, which was kind of my thought as well. I wanted, I just, I really wanted them to take accountability and come up with a plan of action and focus on making the game right and not focus on, on, on making DLC and money. And it seems like that's the route that they've taken. So it's, it's I, yeah, I think it's good. Uh, remember your army comes out of your workers. So they are, yeah, that is true. <laughs> but if we get 70 more influence, we get more land. So maybe my, maybe I'm not doing this right, but uh, Ravencore, I want to thank you for being the first person here today. And uh, thank you so much. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, your voice is best of any streamer, YouTuber you watch because it's calm. I appreciate that. It's funny. I, the, I'm, I've been seeing more and more that I am less calm than I used to be. And I honestly think it's just that the longer I do this, the more comfortable I get. And I've been sleeping a lot better. <laughs> so the better I sleep, the faster I talk. I'm sorry. Smaller. Uh, no, no, the six of clubs. I think you're right. I think you're, I think you're right. I think it makes sense, especially right now. We don't really have any, uh, we don't really have much in the way of workers working it. So, uh, I could record meditation, meditation tracks. <laughs> I, I, I would, I would gladly do that. That sounds awesome to me. A great, a great job. Fourteen diseased peasants and a bunch of French bowmen against a gaggle of bandits. That's the way we roll over here in Olsenshire. <laughs> we uh we take our peasants and we uh we send them to the bandits with a bunch of Frenchmen. And they do they do just fine. Oh, there's an ad? We're we're not getting to war. I will all we're gonna do now is find our position. And truthfully, I think we're gonna send our Frenchmen over here. We'll send our melee units over here and we'll attack from both sides. You got war ads? <laughs> I, see, I see 20 more seconds. The ads are reminding you why you uninstall Twitch. I, I'm not going to say that there's a way that you could do it and not see the ads, but there is a way. And uh, lots of people, lots of people do it. I don't know if there's Twitch in here, so I don't get myself in trouble. Not much on YouTube. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, I do stream on Twitch. I like how responsive the chat is here. Everyone's super friendly. I like the culture of Twitch. It's been a lot of been a lot of fun, uh, but it's still on YouTube as well. Um, we have uh, the ability to to have a VOD then. Okay, the ads are done, and Damon, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Uh, you give it to Fate. Fate, you no longer have to deal with ads. Uh, okay, I paused it because they are the 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 outlaws are just running towards us. Let's take a look. They're running downhill at us. So I'm going to send us uphill. Okay, hold on. We can do this. And then I'm going to have them stand their ground because they should be running uphill then. Actually, with our Frenchmen. Where are our Frenchmen? Okay. Okay. We'll just have our Frenchman go clear the camp real quick. <laughs> uh, have the retinue try to flank the bandits? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. That was 
not great. Um, mm, I feel like I made a mistake. I feel like I made a bad mistake. Uh, also, Frenchies, run. We desperately need you. I think we're going to lose every last one of these troops. Although we are coming in from behind now. Look at this. So let's see. Run. What are you guys doing? Don't cheer. Go and attack. There we go. From behind. Oh, that is brutal. So even though we're outnumbered, we surprised them. This is my first move. Yeah, that that was my that was my first flank right there. That we're I, let's see, we're not we haven't lost anybody yet. Uh, we'll uh, we'll leave that. Where are the Frenchmen? Again, walking over. Oh my goodness! Get get here faster, French Frenchmen. Or just go over there. Fine, whatever. Uh, and our battle. I feel like we're gonna win this one because we had the element of surprise that you guys talk about guys look at that look at that that worked no losses it was perfect that we didn't even need we didn't even need our frenchies they didn't even do anything for us what did, you guys cleared the camp nice work uh go home just go away um we oh ah shoot i didn't look i think we're gonna send this to our town again we need all the money we can get for trading. And then we now have enough influence to steal some land. So I think that we are going to take Walled Brand. Uh, and the main reason for that, again, is the, the ability to, to get the weapons. We're also dividing their land in half. I don't know if that matters, but we're going to go with it. So we'll claim this with influence. And Hildebolt won't do anything about it because he's a coward. And that suits me just well. So let's grab our units. And I'm going to try something. I'm going to send them just back to here. And we'll disband them from here. Put up a toll road. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need. I wonder. I can't. Can I start to build a road, actually? Um, That'd be very helpful. Oh, it's too close. I made the... Wait, can I? I can't. So, okay. So, once we can do this, I'm going to send a road right through these lands. So that we can get to those bandit camps faster. Uh, now, I, I, I have to have Twin Cities. I'll have to have one over here. Uh, He was trying to pinch you off. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to speed this up. The claim's going very quickly. And then while that's going on, we can multitask. We'll add a worker here. We're getting our roof tiles. We got some money. We're going to open up that trade route where we sell off our roof tiles. We're going to sell off. We want to have at least 25 surplus. And then we're going to buy a horse as well. Because that will help us get things over here. Perfect. Uh, every, every time I say bandit camp, you hear bandy cam. And you have PTSD to use it to record daily videos early on. Vainglorious Gaming. I use bandy cam early on. The first videos, Bluffside Crossing, was bandy cam and my Tonar microphone. It was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I purchased that software and I was like... Why would anyone use OBS? What a crazy piece of software. It's so it's so hard to use OBS. I never want to use that. And uh, I've I've seen the light of day. Now I just, I love OBS. There's so much that you can do with it. So much customization. Verde Crossing is still best crossover bit. <laughs> Recorded on Bandicam and edited with Premiere Pro. Two things that I just like, no. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's send these guys back. I didn't want to. The spiders are clearly going to run the trading post. 
don't know if you guys are seeing where it's warm it's spider season here uh yeah i king king louis i stopped using premiere i i'm i'm uh, of the mindset that i shouldn't pay for any subscriptions i don't need so i'm using final cut because it was a one-time 300 dollars fee um so i use final cut i also use affinity so i'm really hoping that um that with the the rico the, the recent acquisition by um uh cavana is it cavana they don't they don't start talking to but yeah i i don't like uh i don't like fees uh canva that's it canva um yeah i'm hoping that they don't start charging fees because then i'd have to find another solution and I really don't want to use GIMP or something like that. You love subscriptions, T. Dorkin. So here's the thing. I understand why some people could be fine with a subscription model. You always get the latest, greatest features. There's some, you know, AI generation for images that you can do and whatnot. Cool. But also, like, I use these softwares so infrequently that I just, I would much rather... And the thing I think that, that bums me out about Affinity is, oh, I don't have to, I don't have to move. Can I just spam them there? I cannot. They have to be in their home region. Um, I just, the developers, it was a small British team, and it seemed like it was a passion project, and they were just, like, really into making this excellent competitor to the Adobe Creative Suite. And now, rather than having that, we have this big company purchasing them and it'll likely turn into oh, just give us 10 bucks a month to be able to, to edit your photo just, I, I, I'd much rather I've purchased the software even when I didn't need to just to support the developers so yeah all I need is, is GIMP and Blender yeah you hate subscriptions because you're broke Jortman yeah I mean they just and I feel like the subscription model is meant to make you go broke it's it's to it's to find revenue where it shouldn't exist. And I mean, I get why the companies do it. If they can get a recurring fee, it probably makes it much easier to, to figure out all your bills. But it still sucks. <laughs> Julian, that's why you only use graph paper and a camera. There you go. <laughs> You 100% agree that purchasing of Affinity is pretty sad. It just seemed like it was totally out of character for what I thought the company was all about. But they're a company. That's what companies do. Companies are going to company. It stinks. But what do, what do you really expect? Um, we've got to add a worker to our tavern to sell some of that beer that we're getting in here. Let's see. Do any of these tavern supply and church for our church? We need planks. And we need tiles. So are we not producing? Is our sawmill empty? It is. Our saw pit is. We're not producing any uh, planks right now. How about, do we have a forester? Oh my goodness. We don't have a forester either. We're just cutting down every single tree. Um, we're going to do that. And if you watch the most recent video, the forester is just like an amazing building. So... Very excited to put this in here. You can take the forester and have them landscape throughout your city. So we'll just we'll sneak the forester in back there. Keep it nice and dense and compact. I gotta plant those trees to replace the cut ones. Absolutely fate. <clears throat> Spoilers. It's the most minor of the things. Uh, love you, Phil, all the way down in Atlanta. Great city. Uh, I'm a, a city planning student down here. You definitely inspired me to take up city planning and, cont and uh, city building content creation. Uh, keep giving us that ASMR voice. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I've got a, I, one of my best friends lives in Atlanta, so I, I go down to Atlanta whenever I can. I, I honestly, I need to get there soon. Um, he recently had a baby, and I still have not visited. So, um, soon. But great downtown, lovely place, lots of tra lots of traffic. You guys don't understand snow. I got to, I was down in Atlanta during one of your uh, snow Magedans, whatever it was. You you busted out your two plows, and I got to watch all these people on the side of the road who didn't know how to 
driving snow and I had a, a Hyundai Sonata and I was doing just fine getting through. It's kind of wild. Atlanta does need more Marta lanes. Uh, but when I get promoted, I will get a tier two. I, I will I will say this. I appreciate all the support, everybody. Um, streaming has and will always be for me uh, an opportunity to hang out with everybody and just play cool games and kind of just figure things out on the fly. Don't ever feel like you have to do that. I, 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 I appreciate the heck out of it. I like some of the biggest channel supporters are in here. Uh, obviously, the Jack Nasty is one of them now. Uh, Julian, uh, Nair, I, I, I appreciate all of you guys, but don't feel like you ever have to. Uh, if you want to, then great, I appreciate that, but don't feel like you have to. Uh, you being here and hanging out is is the very best thing. It's I, There was a point in time where I realized that it was really difficult for me to be on Discord as much as I used to because I, I would end up going on Discord and not getting any videos done. <laughs> but if I schedule time to hang out, it makes it it makes it really easy for me. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. So, yeah, streaming is an excellent way for a creator to engage with the community. That's that's that was my thoughts. So yeah, I was one of your favorite creators uh, when you were stuck in the hospital. Well, hopefully you're better now, and I, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> you hear him forced support. Uh, Phil in the general chat back in the day. The times were good. Yeah, I still hop in there every now and then. Um, but I, I feel bad because I feel it on discord when I'm not on there as much, the discord gets sadder and I need to, I need to get better about that. I've, I, I've gotten this weird thing though, where I spend just kind of a ridiculous amount of time on every video now. And I just, I've kind of become obsessive with trying to make the videos as absolutely good as I can make them. And maybe, maybe it's not perfect. But it's like, it's as good as I can make it. Um, but that means I keep taking more and more time. And I probably just need to not let perfect be the enemy of good and just like be okay with, why won't it let me upgrade? Okay, that's one of the bugs. So we got, we got a message basically saying that if you can't upgrade the church, pause it and unpause it, and then it'll let you do it. So that, that's what we ran into there. Yeah, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. I, 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 I know that I have begun over editing and getting a little bit crazy, but it's tough. Check the trading post. Um, let's see. We have uh, no roof tiles for sale. I'm gonna set this down to zero. Let's just sell them all right now because we really want that beer. Um, in terms of beer, we got six ales, which I guess is going to have to do us for now. We got six beers for our entire community. <laughs> uh, to be frank, you have some of the best edited videos in your YouTube feed. So it's funny. I appreciate that. I really do. Like when I when I got my editor, so my editor is amazing. I, I specifically tried to find someone that could get me 85% of the way there so that they could assemble the video the same way that I would and then allow me to put the, the final le level of polish on it and today is actually one year with my editor and uh, it's been amazing uh, just uh, the, co the, the collaboration uh, with my editor will never say enough good things about him uh, oh Thank you. Uh, you know what? I will ask. I will ask my editor if he'll come in the stream sometime. My editor is in City Hall, lurking around. He's in Discord. Uh, we talk on Discord every single day, hours a day. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of content creators have come to the same point where they work a lot more per video and nearly burn themselves out. So here's the reason why that happens. Um, Content creation is one of the coolest jobs there is. Just like bluntly, like if you can make it as a full-time content creator or an editor 
or anything like that. It's a super cool job. You get to you get to show your creativity to people. And people genuinely enjoy what you do. You make people's days better as long as you're not making content that is super uh, aggressive in, in, in one way or another. And it's a creative outlet, a creative outlet that I didn't really ever have in another job. You get, you, you get to set your own hours uh, and be your own boss and make as much as you work for. Um, so it's a super cool job. And I think that when you've hit a level of success, most people, uh, most content creators want to maintain that. So they'll, they'll, they'll hop on the treadmill and run as fast as they can and hope that they can maintain whatever status they have for as long as they can. Um, and it's super unhealthy because you do burn out. So I, th I feel like that's, that, 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 that becomes a mentality. And like, for me, I started doing that because it's like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. I don't want to, I don't want people not to like it anymore. I don't want to fall off. I don't want to, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I think it, it becomes a thing and I'll check both. I'll, I'll check both production. Um, yeah, it, it, be, it becomes a thing. And as a result, I think that a lot of content creators end up um, burning themselves out because they want to stay relevant and it, it sucks. So that is one of the reasons though, why I got rid of the release schedule. I, I felt like I was on the quick path to burning myself out. And I'll tell you what, since I got rid of the release schedule, I have been so happy. Oh my goodness. This could upgrade to tier three if we had money. Oh. Hmm. You've been in that mindset for nine years now. It's easy to fall in that mindset. Vainglorious. Yeah, like. Here, here's the thing. Uh, okay. We're about to go get our money, folks. We better have our money. Uh, I, I think the other thing about content creation is it works when you don't care. So like, um, it's, it's weird. Like that's the, like, I care a lot like about individual videos, but I never really sought this out. Um, I don't know. I never really thought of this as like a thing that I could do. Um, so like make sure you're having fun like that. Like I, I can, I can feel it when I watch people's videos and they're not having fun. I can feel it and I don't like watching it. So if you ever get there, just like, don't do it. Like do something else, like do a different type of video. Like I respect Vainglorious. You, uh, you decided to not do as much cities to content because you weren't having fun. And I think that like, that is a super, like the, the smartest thing you could do. Like if you're not, if you're not digging it, then don't do it. Um, and do things that you do like because it comes through getting your Frenchman back. You kind of started off by accident, to be honest, would love for it to become something that pays the bills. If you're having fun in the meantime, that's perfect. Then you're doing it right. Um, that's, that's the one thing I'm always, Oh, whoa. they're right here. Oh my goodness. That was not the game plan. Well, Oh shoot. Frenchies. What are you doing? Fall back. Fall back. Um, give ground, give ground, give ground. And then defensive stance, I think. Oh, no. What are you guys doing? Just, just fight. You're just standing there hanging out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. We still won. And now we get to send them over here. We've got some more influence. We're getting our money. Oh, we got an ad during the war. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, what happened was our Frenchmen spawned right next to this bandit camp. So we were able to get this bandit camp immediately. Then we can send the resources to our nearest town. We can upgrade to level three. And everything that we've wanted all day is now possible. So watch this. I'm going to come back over here. We got 204 gold. And we just need to find two of these buildings. Oh, now we're out of beer. Oh. Oh. 
We we were we were right <gasps> there. Oh, that's Burgage Plot level one. We'll we'll still do it, but we were right there, guys. We were right there. We just need two, and that's why I'm so sad <laughs> because we just need two. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, it'll happen soon enough for us. Um. Oh, bummer. Huge bummer. Huge, huge, huge bummer. Uh, let's see. We got four beers. And all these are suffering from the same problem. A lack of... They're, they're parched. Oh, yeah. Jim, did you drink all the beer? Yes. Yes. The Felcher was the one. Yeah. And again... Can't drink on the job. No longer happy. Oh, that stinks. Well, hopefully we get some more beer before we run out of money. Give it to the taxpayers. Yeah, we do have to have the ale wars. But as soon as we get this next policy, we are going to have unlimited money. Oh, my goodness. They are so German. They need their beer. If they don't have their beer, they don't want to. Oh, okay. There's number one. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We've got plenty of planks. We've got planks. Let me upgrade. Oh, my goodness. No. I, I bet you they're not up here. That's... Oh. Our storehouse. Okay, let's grab... Two workers. They'll hopefully go pick up. Because I'm guessing the planks are down here. Eight of them. We have 21 total. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me expand. It's telling me no. Did we find a bug? Unpause, pause. I'm about to save reload. <laughs> because I... Oh, all of them are up upgradable to level three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, Olson. Olson, stream two. Mid. I don't know that we're mid or not, but we're gonna do this. All right. And now, we'll just load back in. Let's just see what this does. Might work. Maybe it counts planks in transit. Maybe. I'm hoping that we just found a bug. We found a bug. <laughs> well, next week, guys, if you see that, now you know what it is. And now we are truly out of planks because it does take the planks away. Okay. Now I'm going to chill out for a second. Oh, my goodness. You'd say roughly mid. Vic, you want me to stand all night? Another beam coming up. I think... I think we need to set a population goal for the stream. So we'll keep streaming until we reach our population goal and maybe a dollar goal to go along with that. Because if we're going to build the biggest city ever, 5,000, oh my goodness. Uh, if we got to 300 tonight, that would be amazing. <laughs> 24 hour stream. Well, yeah, well. For the uh, for the anniversary on Twitch, I'll do I'll do something crazy and maybe I'll do some sort of a a, a subathon or something. I'm at three hours. We usually go six, between four and six. So, take out the bandits before the next ad. Are there bandits? There are. There are. Oh my goodness. And if we take them out, then maybe, then maybe we'll start to get enough influence to claim another region. So that's another goal. Um, Kaporgmi, thank you so much for, I probably butchered that, I'm sorry. Thank you for the prime. Joe, thank you for the prime. Lemony Yogurt, thank you for the prime. Uh, K-Sids, thank you for the tier one. DJ DJ, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the tier one resub. Perry, thank you for the prime. Uh, and Damon, thank you again for the the, the uh, tier one that you gave to Fate. 
Uh, Vokebane, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Mad Dog, thank you so much for the Tier 1. Um, <laughs> check the Hired Army. Oh, oh, is it po How do I check where the Hired Army is? Is there a way? I have no idea. I have no idea where they are or how to get figure out where they are. Uh, butchered so bad that you could sell them at the market. <laughs> uh, Kippur, Kippur Gimme, Kippur Gimme. I need you to help me. <laughs> uh, above the price arriving in. Okay. So it says they'll arrive in Olsenshire, but that's that's right here. But they, I don't think that that's actually what's going to happen. Either way, I'm game. We'll hire them. We'll see where they are. Let's see. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I shouldn't doubt you, chat. I shouldn't doubt you. You're you you don't you don't lead me astray often, uh, even when it's to your detriment. So I appreciate you. Okay, we'll we'll have everyone meet up right here. We've been holding our troops, just chilling. Yes, sire. We're too wholesome to lead you astray. I appreciate that. No, JD Bizzle, especially in GeoGuessr. I'm a terrible GeoGuessr player, yet you guys often will give me hints and then I'll end up in the top top ten. But I'm bad at GeoGuessr. I'm not I'm not a Vainglorious or uh, a Jortman uh, or any number of the other people who are always at the top. I'm not one of those. I'm just I'm lucky because chat is 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 nice to me. <laughs> uh then one copy off to you for GeoCaster. <laughs> then you copy off me. So so CJ Hockey. So I do oh there it is. Okay. I know we're going. We're, we're trying to leave. But I am so stupid excited for the better deals policy. This changes everything. Everything is better. Everything is better. So we are going to spend all of the money. We are going to import all of the things. Everything is amazing in our place now. Because when we go to our trading post. Look at this. Why not buy a bunch of these trade routes? Yeah, we're, we're not doing great on food. That's fine. We are going to buy eggs. I want to import eggs. I want to have at least 150. Uh, we'll do the exact same thing. We'll get some apples. We, we can't do apples. Actually, I don't even need to buy specific trade routes for these. They'll just be faster if I do. So why don't we just set these up? We're going to go absolutely broke. But then eventually, we'll hit an equilibrium, and it's going to be great. Um, 150 for all of the food. We just want to build up a nice stock of them. And then for roof tiles, I'm going to send a whole bunch of employees working on this. Also going to buy another... Well, no, we, we'll, we'll take it down. We'll assign a horse here. We have two already. We're good. Um, and then we're importing all of our beer right now. We'll probably establish this chain soon. I, I don't really want to import anything if we don't have to. Any finished goods. Um, but yeah, we're at a, we're at a, we're at a spot. We could also do routes for all of these. In particular, we can't do helmets right now, so I think I'll establish this one. And we'll import these. We'll import 15. Okay. Uh, so, so do CPP fans have a group name? Like, we are CPPs? Not really. Uh, Fisherman Defender, if you have one, we'll take it. Uh, bows? Why don't, I just, why don't I just set up a trade route? We're trying to make them. We've got some. Oh, we should not have got the... Okay, okay. Oh. The Twixter, thank you so much for the raid. 
Thank you for being here. The posse. <laughs> the planners. So uh, that is one of the that is one of the, the levels, planners. So oh, there we go. We got 19 of them. We got no helmets, no gamestins, nothing. We're just going in. Going around. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh the Wigster, thank you so much for being here. What did you what were you guys streaming tonight? And how are you doing? I see a bunch of uh is that a mouse? A cat. Crescent, dude, what is that? I wanna know. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. Thank you for being here. The TCC. <laughs> the Technical Coordinating Committee. I love it. Uh, peasant bows are better than no bows. I agree. I agree. Uh, Myrtle's minions. I like that. <laughs> uh, Mad About Town. Thank you for the prime. Uh, it's a doggo. Love it. So the Wigster's uh, raid crew. Raiders, what were you guys playing tonight? Did you have a good stream? With a double-sided hatch. Hatchet. Builders. <laughs> My only planners. You've been watching uh, me forever. You love your content. I uh, can't wait to play this game. So excited. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You always have a good time at Wixers. Well, so what were you guys doing? Uh, we, are, we are playing Manor Lords. And we have just unlocked the key to having the very best city ever. We had a good time, got to play with my good buddy and did some Dead, of Daylight, Dead by Daylight. Nice. Nice. Well, welcome in. If you haven't checked out Manor Lords, it comes out next week, Friday. But it's amazing. You, f <laughs> you feel like DVD did you? <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank I appreciate the raid. Thank you for being here. Welcome in. We will, uh, we're just having a nice chill stream. We are actually about to go and uh, take out this bandit camp and hopefully get more land um that said we've just we've just built a bigger army our army's kind of ridiculous now because we've got the frenchmen we've got our troops and we're all going in where are our frenchmen where are they where are they hiding they're way over there i'll make them run they can run um and let's do it. Let's do it. All right, it's a rough job. You tell. <laughs> um, what would I rather hear? Nails on a chalkboard whenever I attempt to speak, or feel like I'm stepping on Legos whenever I walk. Uh, Vic, walking on Legos is not a hypothetical to me. I was I played Legos earlier tonight. Um, it's 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 a it's a very very big part of my life these days. Uh. So I, I will tell you one of the weirdest things, and I don't know if I've ever said this on stream. Um, have you guys ever heard of Amazon Vine? I don't even know if I'm supposed to talk about it. I don't know if it's like Fight Club. Um, but after I bought all the graphics cards, I got invited into the Amazon Vine program. And what they do is they let you uh, get whatever you want up to 100 bucks for free if you leave a review. Now, most of the stuff is absolute garbage. The worst stuff in the world, and no one should buy it. But I went on there one day, and they had this Japanese Lego set that uh, it's a lighthouse. It's 2,500 pieces. And I was like, wow, this is the craziest thing. <laughs> I forgot the first rule, now I'm out. They can, they can kick me out, whatever. <laughs> uh, it was the the absolute uh, they're not letting me do that one so we're just gonna go with it it was the best it's been the best lego set ever but i've been doing this now forever with my seven-year-old uh she gets home from school and it doesn't matter if i'm in the middle of something she's like hey dad let's put together the lighthouse and uh so yeah i step on lego pieces though because of that and it's it's brutal so i would much rather uh deal with nails on a chalkboard than uh legos <laughs> because they're just terrible i love them but they're also terrible um let's see so what are we missing equipment's missing so because we're missing the gambesons and the shirt we can't we can't get them uh offshore arizona thank you so much for the prime appreciate you uh when am i going to be playing the snes sim city um 
So I want that to come after a City Skylines video. So it within the next month, for sure. Um, we are going to win at Manor Lords in the video. That's that's my goal. We're not going to just... I'm not just playing to play. So after that, uh, we'll, we'll do the SimCity SNES video. I'm super excited about that one. I've been looking forward to that one for a long time. Um... The exclamation point by the army unit might be might tell you why. Yeah. So the reason why I can't move them is I don't have enough uh, the gambesons and the shirts. So I'm missing equipment. So once I get those, I should be able to uh, have the archer archer militia, but I can't do it yet, which stinks. But it is what it is. Okay. So we're moving. I think we're gonna we're gonna hang out for a second. We'll make sure that our our folks stop running. And then we'll look at the topography because we want to respect the topography. Let's see. We got to let everyone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, stop. Calm down. We'll let their fatigue dissipate. Uh, I'm also missing bows. Yeah, but you, I, I figure. So I have 32 bows. So I should have 32 that I could equip. But because I don't have the gambesons or any of that, I can't, I can't do anything. So I think we'll focus on that once we get back to town. Uh, Draken, thank you so much for the tier one. Four months, appreciate you, buddy. Uh, it's a checkbox I need to tick. Yeah. Wait, wait. Checkbox. Wait, wait, wait. Could I have rallied them? Oh shoot, I'm an idiot. I forgot to rally them. So I, yeah, I can send them, them to their death in their peasants' clothes. That's. Something that, whoa, you guys are moving quickly. Well, you know what? We'll just see what you're made of. You're running. Let's do it. Make your way over here. Let's scare the crap out of these peasants. Or these, uh, these bandits. You did help. You guys are very helpful. <laughs> uh, suburban Sprawl out in Alfreda. Oh, man. I'm trying to think, I, I think I think my buddy lives in Alpharetta, and it is like it's wild. There's so much sprawl out there. You feel like you're out in the middle of the woods, and yet you are in the suburbs of Atlanta. Okay, so we have all of our archers. Oh, they caught us. Oh, that, that was a failure. That was a failure. I screwed that one up. I screwed that one up bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Well, redemption time. Come from this side. What are these What are these guys all doing? And what, are, what is this? Oh, they're running away. Okay, so it didn't really take much. I just terrified them immediately. Rightfully so. And they left. <laughs> Well, goodbye, Frenchman. Because we've got all these guys. And they can go and clear this. We've got our influence. And we can buy some more land. So we haven't done anything with these yet. We've got two left. This one has a rich animal deposit. This one has a rich iron deposit again. Coal, uh, clay. I think it's kind of a horse apiece at this point. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take the one that's closest to us. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have to hire the Frenchies anymore. You're right. I shouldn't. I think we'll stop with the Frenchies. Uh, that's a good question. I think the farming's bad on both. I guess. Oh, whoops. So it's good for wheat. Flax is bad. Barley is what I really care about. And it's trash. Barley is right here. I've never tried to claim someone else's land with um, with influence. I don't think we'll start yet. We'll just take this one. I don't think it really matters right now. So we'll just take it. And then we'll take our money and we're just going to send it right into our treasury because we need the money. 
Uh, check the flax farming. That's a good. Uh, well, so I, let me see. They're both. A, they both got a little bit. Honestly, it's just it, like all of the land for flax is not good. It's all right here. So if we could take this over, that's that's the route. It seems like all of the the two the two spots where flax are good are right here and right here. That's it. Uh, to win at Manor Lords, we need to claim all of the land. That's that. Well, that's that's the the win condition that we have right now. So we're gonna need to cl declare war on H Hildenbolt at some point to take his land, um, or we can claim it with influence, which will probably cause a war. The claim with King's favor, I don't know that that actually works. So two thousand influence would get that for us. We're at a point now. I started doing the whole importing a whole bunch of food thing because we are going to start to tithe and give the church some money so we can get some influence that way and then start to hopefully take over these lands. So yeah, we'll save. Uh, we'll, should we save for the 2000 for the ne next one? Or should we just grab the other territory, have half and then do it? Yeah, those two territories are OP for just flax and barley, nothing else. Jortman, that's actually a great a great point. So we'll I I kinda wish I wouldn't have claimed this one then because this one is technically closer, but whatever. The other thing I want to do while I'm thinking about it, let's just send a road straight through as long as the terrain's not crazy. We'll send it right over to the bandit camps. Because we know where they spawn at this point, so. There we go. And then we can't build anything over here, but that will give us a nice clear path over to this area. All right. I'm going to grab the army and send them back over here so that we can disband them. We got some money back. We're good. There's an ad break. Uh, I'm going to take just a moment. Ballsabool, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you. Maybe build a forward town close to the unclaimed territory. Soon. Once we have more money. So to build a second town, I haven't done it yet, but from my understanding, we are going to need to have, um, where is it? There's basically these buildings where we can send mules back and forth. And I think we have to have a whole bunch of mules right here, the pack station. So we're going to need a pack station to send things back and forth so we don't have to have the whole supply chain in a different town. So yeah. Gonna be a, gonna, gonna be a thing. Ad break is done. Good. Um. So yeah, this is an early access map. The one thing about this map, the, the thing that gives it replayability, is every time you load in, you load into a different region, and the fertility and the King's Roads are different. Or, or maybe the King's Roads aren't different, but the fertility is definitely different. So it feels different every time. Yeah, it is kind of like the old system in Timberborn. And yeah, it is a giant map. So it's it's very good. You'll get stronger and go more the less you need trade. Only trade if you're highly focused on doing some things and sell them for money. See, I, I actually think the exact opposite. I think that for trade, once we if we didn't have clay, I would go ahead and just import I'd import some raw material like iron ore and turn the iron ore into tools and then we could export the tools for double and that'd be how I'd make all the money I think it would be a lot a lot more effective now I don't think we can do anything with like the, I think that one oh no we can do clay See, I would do clay. You can do you can buy clay for a for one gold and you can sell it after you produce the roof tile for eight. 
So why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? In fact, I just want to double check. So for clay, I'm going to say that I want to have at least a hundred at any point in time. And I'm going to, I'll, I'll buy that trade route. I mean, look at how much money we have right now. We're starting to produce a ton of money just because of our trade routes. So yeah, it's value add. If you want a strong economy, I think trading is where it's at. That is like, we are going to start to trade everything, everything that we're missing. We will have a baseline of it. And then we can try to build it out ourselves so that we don't have to worry about, about not having things. But it will allow us to build up all these buildings. We can start to specialize all of our burgage plots. Like it's just, it's trading is the most powerful thing in this game. I think it's the most important thing to do. Uh, I didn't put the tithe on yet because we don't have enough food. Once we get to, I don't know. I guess it, we do have seven months supply. All right, I'll bite. We'll tithe. I'll tithe. It's fine. Um, I don't know how much influence this actually gives you. Okay, let's keep an eye on this. I'm going to do 10% tithe. So every month, we'll have to give 10% of our food. And I'm wondering if that just gives us straight influence. So let's say we give 19 food. Does that mean we get 19 influence? There's not really a good way for us to check that. Let's, yeah, I don't know. So I just saw we got six. Um, give a small, it gives a small amount of influence. It's like 10. Okay. Bandits do give you influence. Bandits are one of the most influential things. Um, so even though I disbanded the army, I feel like sending them right back out. <laughs> Guys had it right back. We should just set them up. Just post them up right over here. They'll be just fine. Yeah, I think we got six influence from the 10 tithe. The 10% tithe. Uh, Zay Gaming, it's finals time. Time to study. Thanks for being so welcoming, Phil. Apparently Atlanta loves you in chat too. Uh, uh, see you soon. Your town community looks great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, good luck on your finals. And uh, yeah, get out of here. <laughs> go and go and kill it. Do really well. Knock it out of the park. 13 unemployed families. Good. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, let's load this up. Uh, we've got our farms over here. Let's load this up. Uh, I'm going to load up. Do we have any flour? None yet. Uh, the tanner. We've got a whole bunch of hides. We'll have a whole bunch of tannery action going on. Maybe we start to sell some of that. Uh, forager hut. We'll assign some here. At our large granary, we'll add a couple more stalls. Now we have one employee. We're great. Actually, hold on. Hold on. We actually should be producing as many of these as we can. There we go. Looks like I have 180 food. Yeah, our food's our food situation is improving. Um, 180 food, which is 10% or 18. It's something like one third influence. Ah, fisherman defender. That, that's good. Okay. Once we get a couple, I'm gonna. I want more families in here. Once we do that, I want to start. I want to crank the tide. We're able, we're able to upgrade so many of these at this point. That that'll double our density, and hopefully, I mean, look at we're up to 143. So you guys said 300. We're gonna get there before you know it, uh, because we're able to level up so quickly. Um, oh, tab, tab. I need to remember tab. So the green, I think the green upgrade means that we can, on the house. So, wow, we can upgrade so many things. Uh, fill trading post to sign another family. Good call. Good call. Let's do it. We should honestly, with how much we are using our trading post, 
We should have this thing absolutely maxed out. So the moment that we can, we will. Um, this game looks exactly the same as the Apocalypse one. So it is... There are similar things about New Cycle to this one. Except that in New Cycle, in late game, it becomes more of a factory simulator. So... Um, the big thing there is like there's big assembly lines. I've heard it's a lot more like Factorio. Whereas this one has that combat element. Now, if you decide to play just the city building aspect of this, I suppose then it's it's kind of the points moot. At that point, I would say that it becomes an aesthetic thing. Um See, for our ale, I'm going to increase this to 50 because our people love beer. Uh, glorious mix of use zoning. We do have a nice mix of uses in here. We really do. Now, let's slow things down for a second. Oh, wait. No, we can't. We've got our troops out here. We were talking about that. We've got to, we'll take care of that and then we'll slow things down for a second. Um,. So here are all of our troops. Let's go in and get them. Now they're uphill. So we're going to come back here. Yes, sire. And then from here, we should be able to go downhill and get them. As long as they don't find us first. What are they even doing at their camp? Just a bunch of dudes hanging out, beating each other up. Lovely. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> uh, they're camping, yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't love beer? It's Germany. Uh, yeah, for sure. As I drink a Lineys. Love it. It's the Brotherhood of Steel, and they have noticed us. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, guys, run to your positions as quickly as you can. And then for this one, Pick up the fade. Sire. Yes, sire. and then we'll stand Hold our ground down. and we'll slow it down. All right. So I think this is the best job that we've done. Now I'm going to grab, this is not like a great spot, but we'll come up the side here. Wait, wait, wait. And they're running, so they should get here soon. Let's see how it goes. Forward. Immediate, immediate victory. Immediate victory. We don't need the Frenchman anymore. We're good. We're good. All right. We'll clear it out. So that was a bit of influence. I uh, used to be a drink, uh, beer drinker like me, but then you took an arrow to the knee. Actually, diabetes. But Skyrim reference for the win. That's that's a bummer. Um, are you able to drink anything? Like, do you drink like uh, wine or anything like that now, or nothing at all because of the sugar? Uh, we're going to again send this to our town. It it was. I mean, we just overwhelmed them at that point. There's a big part of me that just wants to leave, like. It doesn't seem like they need anything. Their morale's high. It's fatigue. I'm going to leave them over here. And we're just going to see what happens. Vodka's just potatoes. <laughs> Alcohol and type, type 2 diabetes are not a good combo. Oh, it's, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, slow burn, thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Dr. Kimmel, thank you so much for the prime. Good morning from Warsaw. Good morning from Madison, or good evening. Good morning in a, in a little while. Hopefully you're having a good one over there. Uh, you'll have a beer every now and again, but uh, but rarely in small doses. Uh, I, could, I could see how that could be a problem. Mocktails it is. Well, I don't know that I want to disband the worker, uh, disband these, these units. Uh, so it's, it's a part of a family. 
but I don't know that it's really impacting the production as much. The big thing I wonder about is cohesion. If they're gonna if they're gonna start to fall apart or their morale is gonna go down, so I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna run a test. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Wavekin, good morning, good evening, both. <laughs> Hello from New Zealand. Hello, Fuzzy Bear. Thanks for being here. Jamin, good morning from the East Coast. Yes, you are morning now. Or uh, past midnight, whatever however you want to look at it. Cohesion probably lowers the longer they aren't disbanded. Ah, so I saw that our new units weren't in a good spot there. Oh, you're right. So the only troops doing okay with that are our retinue and the other two are getting worse. All right. Yeah, I'll take them back and I'll disband them. Too fatigued to run. They're tired. We'll give them, we'll give them a, a little opportunity to rest. We'll be fair. We're not, we're not total monsters. Uh, requirements not met. Now, over here, by our dog park, we can't get these buildings to level up because we're too far from the market. Makes me wonder. I'm going to try something, and you guys can yell at me about this. I think I want to, I think I want to, I want to cut this thing in half. Um, so my idea is that we get rid of this. We put half of it over here. We can have it maybe right here by our hitching post, a tiny one. And then half of it over here. And hopefully we meet everyone's needs. But right now it's not working. It's just not, it's not working. So if I build two markets, will the family selling things go to two, open up two stalls? Yeah. So if you look at some of these, like our storehouse, the, they have four different stalls. So they would split up. I don't know the, 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 the separation of, of, of goods, but it's a theory that I've had for a while that we want walkable communities. <laughs> <laughs> so if we if we have many smaller markets, you don't have to walk as far to get to the market, and it's better. Natural development will have some areas more built up and more wealthy. True. Problem is, so let's say I build another market. They will fill this one up first. So okay, you know what, guys? We're just gonna we're just gonna roll the dice. We're just gonna try something. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe we have to give up on it. But what I'm gonna do is make a little baby market. I guess I could take I could take part of the dog park. No, I want it to be further away. We'll put it right here. We'll turn off snapping the roads. So that's seven stalls. It's it's miniature. And now I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to make a new one right here. So that's ten right there. And then over here, we'll do something considerably smaller. Um, oh, we got to wait for that to clear out. Maybe something like that. So we get 15. Although I want to make sure it's big enough to fit a building. So, okay, 15 right there. And then I'm going to fill the rest of this up. Our settlement level has increased again. I didn't even check the requirements. Um, we got to wait for them to pick that up before we can do this. We just had 36 going. Um, yeah, so that's that's uh, fishermen. That's exactly what I'm wondering. I, I I guess I hadn't thought of it that way. If we'll get more because of smaller markets, we'll count. Yeah, there were like 17 at our big one. I should have looked. 
That was that was not smart. <laughs> yeah, the villagers were like it, 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 this Pikachu face. I can't believe he got rid of the market. If I put a road up past the hitching post, the market will cling to it and wrap around the road. That's true. So there are 14. So with that in mind, if there were 14, we should get this one to completely load up, which it did already. Then they'll go over here and they'll start to load this one up. This is almost done. Um, this will be the last one that gets filled up. So I'm hoping that doesn't tank all of these, but I'm guessing now this soon enough, I'll be able to level these all up. Clothing. Okay. Well, you get the point. It was very common at different markets, uh, sometimes ran by lords or districts of guilds. Let's see that. Use the clip and counted 20 stalls originally. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So there's no way to see the, is there a number? Can't see the number <laughs> outside of that original time. Uh, but it looks like five, six, seven here. Um, these are filling it. I want to say that this one was like 11. Two stall locations here. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad Seven, so maybe nine. And then we'll fill in over here. We'll have to see. We'll keep, we'll keep a very close eye on it. Not enough. Oh, we're out of timber. Did not see that coming. Um, actually, that's totally predictable because we built our forester over here and never assigned anyone to it. And our logging camp only has two employees. Um, okay. So a couple cool things about this. So we've got our forester. We're obviously going to work on this area first. If I hold down control, I can like set the size of the area to be reforested. And then actually, let me let me redo that. We'll keep it all on. We'll keep it all to right there. And it, it grows really fast. So after that, we are going to target trees in other places. Uh, it was more common that people's homes were also their stalls. Market squares were only a thing in much larger towns. Okay, that's good to know. This reminds me, it reminds me of Banished a bunch. It's a lot like Banished. Um, this makes me think that maybe we should make sure if we can have, I don't think that we can. Yeah, we can't just import timber, which is kind of unfortunate. Place more hitching posts and buy more oxen. That's good. That is, oh, that, oh, yes. That is the bottleneck. So right now we have three oxen. And without more, we're basically just sharing those those uh, three for everybody. Um... So we'll build some hitching posts. I'm going to build one over here. Uh, once we have enough of these, we can also just kind of assign one of these. We're at an ad break, so I'll, I'll, I'm not going to do a ton. Um, but I'll assign a couple of these over here. And then we'll upgrade them right away, too. Uh, do the homes with the gardens and the coops need market stalls? They Well, kind of. So they will basically take their goods over to the uh, to the uh, to the the granary that we have down here, and then at the granary, the employees here will open up stalls. So the the way that we get more stalls too would be to have more employees here, but we just don't have any right now. Uh, that said, there may be a few over here that we could add a, another home to because the lot is large. Uh, otherwise, I'm wondering. I'm going to do the zoom out and zoom in thing. 
I once we have uh, more oxen and horse, I think we'll just get more aggressive about trading and try to bring in even more food and, and just really go ham on our on our on our size. Uh, DJ. Oh, you're gonna need to be able to uh, turn down those voices on and off when you play. You can. So the way uh, you can you can control everything. You can do a lot. They'll take over the voices in your head. <laughs> uh, Maze Blue Augie, thank you so much for the uh, prime. Appreciate you. Do I know if there's an advantage to having multiple trading posts? I do not. I don't know that there would be. Um, the main advantage would be that you could have more than one horse. But we don't have our trading post loaded up with people yet. So that's the thing. Is the limitation right now is the number. I, I guess... There should be an advantage. More frequent trades, yes. More horses. More stock going in and out. So yeah, I would I would assume that there is an advantage. So, and, and the other thing is, I want to say that if you like, we assigned two horses here. So now we have the stable space again. So, that's the other advantage. You they act as stables. Probably makes sense to have one for buying, one for selling when you get big. Maybe. Honestly, just for just for being faster. Uh, one trading post per territory. I'd well, even that. I don't know how necessary that is, because you can have the mules going back and forth between, between these. Uh, let's disband all the, these guys. Oh, they're fine now. Now they're thrilled. Oh, that is bizarre. Okay, whatever. We'll disband them anyway. This little experiment. I don't know that it worked out well for us. Because now we don't have clothing nearby some of these. And now they're mad. So we made our level 3 buildings upset to make some level 1 buildings happier. So yeah. I don't know how much the game will cost, but what I what was mentioned on stream last week, someone said that they thought that the developer said it was going to be um, thirty bucks with a sale um, week one. I'm not. A, I can't confirm that though. That's just what. That's the rumor. Um, the one thing I do know is that it's on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass PC, look for it there. I, I think honestly what I really need are more granaries and more store uh, and more uh, storage I need to load them up with employees so if I could do that I could have more stalls in the markets and be fine so we need more food we're we're gonna I'm gonna go full send I'm just gonna we're just going to sprint towards it. I'm going to buy a bunch of trade routes. Okay, this might be... This This is... This is either genius or ridiculous. Full trade routes for all of our food. And we're going 250 for all of them. And my goal here... Is that we are bringing in so much food so quickly that uh, we're able to really expand the city. And then over here, let's see. I want to make sure we don't have a bottleneck in this system. Uh, how much clay do we have? We have tons of clay. So we'll just keep producing more and more uh, roof tiles because our roof tiles are the only thing that we're selling to make money outside of uh, all of our don't overload my granaries okay yes oh Coral, there are so many games on game pass that are early access um craftopia was on uh early access that if you don't, if you're not familiar with craftopia pal world's predecessor it's basically zelda but on the Xbox, 
early access. Uh, Pal World is early access. That's on uh, Xbox Game Pass as well. So yeah, goats and hunter stalls equal clothes. True. Uh, and that's actually another good reminder. We have some of these materials now, so we should take a look at some of these burgage plots that we upgraded and make sure that we're actually trying to focus on producing things that we actually have. Um, so here's where all of our planks are going, interestingly. Um, clothing. We, I believe we upgraded a tailor. Uh, where is the tailor? Right here. So the tailor's making gambesons. You take linens to make the gambesons. You, to get linens, we built, we built the dyer's workshop and the weaver, and we haven't done anything with it. So that's part of our problem. <laughs> um, I'm going to take one away from here. So they're going to take these materials, turn it into clothes, and that'll hopefully make some of these happier. Uh, looks like there are we need 20 trading posts now. I don't think we need 20. I have an upgrade point. You're not sure that the one is next to the Olsen Shire? There's something satisfying. Oh, the trading stalls. You think I need more trading stalls? I think it's still going to work. I think it's just going to go crazy here. So we've paid we've paid for traders. So the traders are, are bringing all these materials here for us nonstop. The crazy thing is you pay 25 once and you own the trading route. So forever now, we just have this trader because we should be able to just follow any of these. And look at this. There's a ton of merchants. They're all here. <laughs> all just rolling with a ton of food. And you see this? We now have 500 food. So two reasons i wanted to do this we oh we have a development point too uh i know we i think we're just going to do sheep breeding because we have the sheep already so then we can sell sheep as well um so there we go sheep breeding we have all this food coming in so we can tithe even more <laughs> they do look empty but they're not actually not a not this is a early access early access thing <laughs> um we're trading a ton so with this, we have no money right now, but they get that clay and then we've got that money and then we're good. The one thing that could really help us out is we are importing ale. And at this point, if we had that whole uh, supply chain, that would save us a lot of money. Lemon yogurt. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. Uh, invisible tarp to deter bandits. <laughs> The bandits. Oh, there's more bandits. Same spot. Okay. Let's do it. We don't want them to be, we don't want them to steal our stuff. So we'll rally them again and get them over there. Uh, gonna need more housing. Housing is exactly where we're going next. We've got enough food now. I think we've got to load up. So. If 300 population is our goal, the one, so two things. Level three housing gives you an additional family. So the moment that you can do that, so like this one right here, got a level two. The reason that we're not there is uh, we, are, we don't have planks. I'm gonna pause it for just a moment because I'm insane and I wanna trade route for this as well. Um, we went at least 50. We're going to be really broke for a little while, but I think within short order, we're going to be really rich. Uh, the tithe is still 10%. So we could go up on that and we're doing that, that whole like weird thing here uh, more farms clothes and beer honestly you're making a good point I wonder what we let's see so we've had a bunch of workers at this farm 
I don't think that we've been doing anything with... We must have a bunch of... Oh, what's going on? So we don't have any flour. Oh my goodness. All of our wheat's been going bad. My guess is. Um, let's see. We've also been growing barley. Nothing's happening here. Unless it's all going bad. But we don't actually have uh, any malt. So if the barley was doing something and we had a brewer, this would be turned into malt and we need a malt house. We don't have any of that. So I'm not sure what's going on with those. Uh, workers at the farm are idle now. Yeah, it's winter. So they should just be hanging out. Um, so we should have wheat and barley this year from these two. I'm going to keep an eye on it because I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, yeah. The hides could be turned into leather. I'll add another tannery. I think we're just overproducing. So maybe that's another trade route that we should establish. That could be one of the things that we're selling. Is uh, I, Honestly, leather would be better to sell than just hides. Uh, do I have to build? You've been quiet for two hours, Eddie. Are you going to sleep? Uh, have a good night. Thank you for being here. Uh, do I ever do GeoGuessr at the beginning of streams? You're too tired? <laughs> I haven't. Should we just do a GeoGuessr stream one of these days for like 30 minutes at the start? Yes. <laughs> well, DJ, what time? Like, you're in the UK. So, what time would work for you? Maybe we'll do it on a, on a random. On a random. Oh, you're in. You're, oh, yes, you're in. I'm sorry. I'm mixing you up. Uh, maybe we'll do a random Saturday. And do something midday for me, which would be good for Europeans. Uh, Lord Kevin, you're from Australia. I've been keen to play this and binging my video, my eggs and Biffa's videos. I, I have not watched either of theirs, and I, I, I don't want to be. I don't want my play style influenced by theirs. That's the only reason why. Maybe I should though. Uh, probably. Oh, yes, yes. Check the army. I completely forgot about them as we're just like cruising. All right. We'll rally them over here. Run. We don't want them running. They can walk leisurely over there. Don't let me forget about them again. <laughs> I will totally forget about them. Um... Okay. And the other thing, we had our Forester. I'm all over the place. That's the thing about these games. Um, these sorts of games, you end up doing so much all over the place and losing track of the small things. I feel like I need a notebook to write it all down. I can drag the wall where I want. You think so? Well, so this is our planner. Um, too far from other modules. Uh, let's see. Can I get rid of this in our planner? Remove a point. Um, and I don't even know how to get... Like, it's it, We made this before... Work in progress, so I can't reset it. Honestly, I kind of want to just blow this thing up and start over. Because <laughs> uh, I think I screwed it up bad enough. I can put in extra modules. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Hold on. I want to see if I can get rid of the wall. So I'm trying, and it says that I can remove a point by right mouse clicking, but I don't know where the points are. Which makes it basically impossible to remove them. Although it feels like it's it's clipping to things. Wall, oh wait, wall editing. Remove alt, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm missing something. I'm trying to get rid of this, but it's just not having it. And even dragging, like it's it's letting me drag a new one. But it feels like this one right here is stuck. Um. Yeah, I'm alt left clicking, and it's alt left and f alt right. <laughs> not having any of it so I'm gonna do the thing I don't want to do let's blow my house up and we'll rebuild all the materials are still there that's one thing that's pretty overpowered right now is you demolish a building you lose the labor obviously but yeah well we'll try I am very curious if we can build this and build a whole wall around ourselves then maybe we can go to war and not worry about all that much because we have this big wall army yes army army we'll go back to the army while this is happening first line up here Um, so what I'm doing is I have our archer militia coming first in the rear. What is, who's walking? Just people. Okay. Um, so they're in the rear. They're coming to meet us. So I'll have these guys run to get to the front. And, oh, I thought that the photography was the opposite way. Oh, that's not good. Um, I think we might roll with it. We might roll with it. Raiders? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see. Well, there's one group that we can form. Okay, so we have this archer unit, this other archer unit. I wonder, can we do more than one? We can do two, three. I'll divide them up into three archer units right here and spread them out all the way across here. And then we have enough money. We could hire some. We'll get our Frenchmen back. The Raiders are big. We got them. We're getting our Frenchies. Um, so that's a lot of archers. We'll grab these ones. I'll put them right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I, all right. We've got to rally them. So we'll rally some right here. We'll rally some right here and then we'll rally these ones I wonder where they're gonna come in are they gonna they're gonna try to probably sneak through the woods so maybe right here in the fields but we can't rally there we'll rally here then we'll move the troops near town in the trees well, these are archers, so they, they shouldn't do well with that, I would assume. Um, where are these? Oh. So I think we have an opportunity, too, because these guys... Oh, we don't. They're a long ways away. Couldn't be any worse for us, actually. Um, I'm going to send them over here and have them run. All right, guys, we're just going to roll the dice and see what happens. Um Interesting. Where are they going? Okay, I have no idea what they're okay, they they're trying to they're trying to be tactical. Um Well we've also got this going on, and we've we've won here. Run. So We'll send these troops back. And... 
We'll see what happens. We'll have him run. Um, hey, managed to catch you live. Wanted to say thank you for your videos. Uh, made my cities look a lot better than normal. Uh, Alco, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Uh, Lord Kevin, thank you so much for the Prime. Uh, Med Virtual, thank you for the Prime. Maze Blue Augie. I think I got you before, but I'll get you again. Thank you for the Prime. Hand over the booty villagers. <laughs> it's gonna we could have we might have a bad time here. But we're gonna give it our all. Homelessness. Why do we have homelessness? I Okay. Um send this to the nearest town. Great. Set up a classic double uh pincer if you can draw them to the middle of the map. Okay, well, maybe, maybe we can. Let's see. We're gonna speed it up. They're coming straight towards the field. We actually have our troops running over pretty quickly. Our Frenchies are gonna get in. And let's see, let's draw them in the right direction. Uh, and these ones too. Yes, sire. Come at me, bro. Uh, where is? You got, you got, you got. We have these ones right here. The other ones must be hiding out in the woods, like a bunch of cowards. Sire. Let them, let them. I think. Oh, we've got an ad break. We've got an ad break. We're stopping. We're stopping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in chat. I stopped. Waiting for you guys. Okay. Uh, the porcelain wolf, you're watching on YouTube and now you're here. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Kimball, I'm sorry. Yeah, I try. I tried. I know that there are many of you that I just keep going to battle in uh, the middle of ad breaks. It's, it's the, at the, you, you guys think that there's a strategy that, you know, to get, to get you to, to be a sub. That's it. <laughs> Franchise to the front sounds good. You think this is gonna work? I feel I feel good about it. The valley dip in the farm is the killing ground. It is. <gasps> I wonder. Speaking of the killing ground, we never had anyone work our corpse pit, but we are about to slaughter everybody. So we'll make sure we got an employee over there. Frenchies not franchise. Uh, twenty three seconds, and we will we will. Let the slaughter commence. Three minutes remaining on rendering next video. <laughs> Bring your distant militias from behind. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. We'll meet up right there. And all these are already in place, so there we go. All right. Shift the archers around for better angles once the melee starts. Okay. We're beginning. We're beginning. It's, uh, this is going to be it. Look at this. This lady's just casually tossing her seeds down at not even realizing that she's in the middle of a battlefield. Get out of here, lady. Christina. No. Get out of here. <laughs> you figure seeing, a, you know, how many archers are here at this point? 60 there, another 70 over here. You think that would be a warning? <laughs> Christina is a badass. The wheat cannot wait. 137 archers total. Yeah, we've got a gigantic army. Yet Christina is, uh, she's ready. She's the MVP of farmers. You guys don't even know what you're walking into. Got no idea. But I'll tell you what, it's not gonna go well for you. Enjoy. This is your last walk. <laughs> she is, this is fine now. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling good about this. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll take, we'll take their stance. Imagine that. You're walking up here and that's what you see. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, that is a that is a nice casual bandit swagger. 
they, they feel really good about what they're about to do. <laughs> oh, geez. oh my goodness. From everywhere. It's just target practice. Oh my goodness. I guess they're charging. That's a strategy. I, I feel good about this. I feel really good about this. Small number of bandits to attack this number of troops. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and there they are. They got they got through. All right. I will take this. I will I will calm down. And let's see. We'll bring them in. Like right here. So they're closer. And then our other troops. They're still a ways back. Um. Yeah, they're not. They're not gonna get here in time. The slaughter will be done before then. Yeah, they're already running away. They've they uh, abandoned abandoned ship. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> Keep running, guys. Keep running. How's Christina doing? Wait, is she still tossing her seeds around? It looks like she wised up. I don't see her around here unless she's dead. Uh, let's see. There's Christina. She's transporting things. <laughs> that looks like a different Christina. That is, this is Christina. White or waiting. Can't. Is that? I can't. I can't find her. Or. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Christina's just, uh, she must be in the house, just hanging out. Real trooper. <laughs> uh, so we're done. That, that's it. All of the bodies in the field. So I, I bet you Christina's very unhappy at this point. Uh, let's see. I guess we can get rid of our Frenchmen. Goodbye, Frenchies. We'll disband all of these. Any that we can, anyway. Uh, they never made it here. Super helpful. Uh, leather bodies. They, uh, they will get picked up at some point. But it's going to be a minute. It's going to be a minute. Christine is going to be very unhappy. Uh, now we've got Beatrix doing the, the exact same thing. <laughs> right over the top. Not a care in the world. <laughs> I kind of feel like we should be able to take their weapons. Like, this guy's clearly got a decent amount of weapons. And uh, we just leave him there in the field. Fertilizer. <laughs> Lost a few archers. We did. But it wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. Um, speaking of that, we don't have a pastor or a grave digger, rather. So if we have that here, Dorothea will become the the undertaker. And I think she'll go get our bodies and bury them at in our sacred in our sacred place. And she is just a beast just grabs the body puts it over her shoulder makes it go invisible and uh now we're good to go bodies make good compost <laughs> so, all right we're good there the rest of the field i'm gonna assign another person here to hopefully grab those out of the way and then we've got a homelessness problem and, and now is when i we've got we've got food and i know it's missing again but whoops now it's back. We got plenty of food. So we're going to go for it. I think we'll finally get these homes back here that we wanted. And let's see. I, I kind of like it facing that way. We get two. But three that way. That's even better. Yeah, we'll do that. Three right there. Um, and where I, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to fall off the hill. 
So I think... We'll keep adding a few up here. And now, let's see, is this cleaned up? It's not. So I can't rebuild this here until they pick up the supplies. I guess it's still happening. Uh, Manor needs to be rebuilt. Yeah, we've got to get this done. Uh, plus or minus lets you remove houses in a zone. That's true. I want it to be as dense as possible, though, because my goal is to have all of our housing up here and have a wall all the way around it. So to that end, I think we need to get as many of these to level three as we can. And our short we had a shortage of planks before that was holding us back. Now it's beer again, because of course it's beer. Those poor oxen. Um, we can actually upgrade some of these. We added all of these before the war started. All these hitching posts. So I'll get those upgraded so we can get a whole bunch more oxen. You're so mad you can't play yet? It It, it is coming. It is coming. And it's, it's worth the wait. It's, it's just one of those games. It's stressful at first, and then relaxing. You know, at the longer you play, um, just a super cool game. You can't handle another flop. I mean, you're seeing it right now. Um, awards and all. I mean, there are things about it that are not done. There are things that are done. And uh, as long as you are okay with the limitations that it has, I think you'll be happy. Where is our retinue? Um, oh, way over there, way over there. Uh, Shady Nasty, uh, have a good night. Thank you for being here. Yeah, this, this, I don't, I don't think it's a flop at all. I mean, I, I, this is, there are very few games that just like, I'm one of those people that only plays a few games. I'm kind of a weirdo like that, where I just, I get sucked into a couple of games and this has easily become one of those games that has sucked me in and it just, it makes me want to just play constantly. And if it is, if it is 30 bucks or if it's on game pass, it's, it's much, a much lower barrier to entry and knowing that it's just going to get better. I mean, like I mentioned, it's like Timberborn in that way. I think that this is more of a city builder. I mean, that's what was in the thing that we read earlier. Um, basically, we so we read the note from the developer, and he, he said, it has RTS components, but this is a city builder, first and foremost. So that's that's the goal. So if you're looking for an RTS, that's like, it, it'll have those elements, but it's not that. Like, don't, don't. Don't get it twisted. You're not okay, bodies are out of the field. So, we'll take those employees back because I really want them at our storehouse to hopefully Never. grab these so we can finally shy, rebuild. Ooh, Wicked Pisa. That is an excellent point. Um... Yeah, I would say that this is a is a is a pretty pretty big success. It's it's gonna be. Like I just I would be shocked if this wasn't a success. Um And Mad Dog, you are right. There is a mode without combat where you can just build forever and not really worry about that. There's also a mode where it's just like all combat, where it's just you have to build to a large city as quickly as possible, which is our next goal. So once we get four more level three plots we would have won that mode it's all about surviving that said getting level three plots is hard it's not 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 uh not simple although we're gonna make it look simple <laughs> we just go through all of these and easily upgrade all of them any more? A couple of level ones that we get to level two. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, the Tudor style, you like it? The German, it's very, it's very, it is very German. It is very, it's, it's just super attractive. 
They just done a great job with this. Feels like a more complex, fleshed out, banished. Yeah, you know, and I was talking with some folks earlier today. I don't know what kind of future that this has in terms of modding, but I just look at this as like banished was really enhanced in a lot of people's eyes by the by the mods that were available for it. Um, so if this has that kind of potential, boy oh boy, can you even imagine? It's gonna be wild. Yeah, you doubt it's gonna get native mod support, single dude. Yeah, I mean, did Banished have native mod support? I mean, it's kind of hacked in there, if I don't recall. Banished had native mod support. I didn't realize that. So I'm one of those weirdos who never played Banished with mods. Yeah, Banished has Colonial Charter, which I believe like doubles or triples the number of buildings. Steam Workshop, interesting. Oh my gosh. Just pick up these. Just pick them up. I'm gonna sell them because I just want them gone so bad. Um, have no money because we're importing all the things. We're making good progress towards importing all the things, but we're still importing all the things. Um, mm. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cave. I. I so desperately. We crashed <laughs> it's okay it auto saved and you know what you know what it's fine it's fine that's why we have auto save on that's why we have auto save on and i look at it this way we've been streaming now four and a half hours four of which we've been playing the game we're okay. Uh, the last time it autosaved was a little under 10 minutes ago. Oh my goodness. Yes, Sam on YouTube, pain. Much pain. Very much sad. Um, we're back to the bodies being in the field. The saddest thing about this is all that housing we just built, that was in the last 10 minutes. So that kind of stinks. Um, we'll load it up again. Geoguesser. A bandit camp immediately too. Um, yeah, we might. Here's what I'm going to do. We are going to keep playing next week. We are going to start out. I really didn't want to do this. Um, but we're going to start out with crowd control. Um, we'll start out with crowd control starting next week. Maybe I'll even do that early a different day. Um, I really want to grow this thing big. Um, by big, I mean like massive. If we can get to... The biggest I've ever done is about 400. I'd love to get to like 1500 on stream. And I think that once... I mean, now that we've got our trade route madness going on, it shouldn't be a problem. So... Yeah. Holding off in the manor. We still we still got rid of the manor, which stinks. So that's still gone. Um, I am curious, though. I was trying to delete a road. <laughs> well, I'm able to do that. <laughs> so we've got that going for us. Uh, the other interesting thing. Okay. I'll attach it to a road. Maybe it'll get cleared quicker. Um... I'm going to build the last few homes that we had, and then we're going to move on the GeoGuessr. And yeah, we'll just get back to where we were because I hate the feeling of quitting and then coming back next time and feeling like we're doing things that we did in the previous stream. I hate that feeling just generally in life, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> we'll get, we'll do this instead. And then I'll try to upgrade as much as we can. Uh, we got a bunch of level three stuff going on. And I'm going to let this basically normalize. Before GeoGuessr, I'm probably going to use the restroom. So I might just let this run while you guys watch some chair. 
Um, but give me a second. Let's get this. We'll get this going. Uh, tab. Tab. The easy way. There's the hard way and the easy way. That's it. That's all that we have. Um, only chair. It is chair time. I'm going to crank this thing. First of all, I'm going to save this thing. Uh, so, Olsen, stream to mid-end. I'm also going to wait for the bodies to get cleaned up before we go. Uh, before I go, I should say. We've got... Uh, did we get her back? Did we get her back? Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. No, we got someone else. Um, once the bodies are cleaned up, then I'm going to take these away and then walk away for a moment. Yes, the body pit. Once the body pit is 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 cleared, we don't want we don't want to fertilize and seed the bodies. You want to play this game, bummed it'll be another week. You're gonna know so much stuff. The instructions for this game are not good, <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna know so much stuff when you start playing. It's gonna be good. We should sew the dragon scales. <laughs> Who put all these bodies? They're completely indifferent. They don't even, in fact, that's not even a question that they're asking. They don't care. The body's in the field. Whatever. Just roll with it. <laughs> um, kind of amazed that they're not picking them up yet. I wonder if we would be well served. This is just more of a general thing. I'm going to run... Another road along the tree line here. I bet you that will be well utilized by the by the by the grave people. There they are. <laughs> Already being utilized. Uh there were never bodies in Olsenshire. That's because we dumped them in the woods. Now we're good. <laughs> See? Never any bodies. Don't worry about it. We're good. No one's tending the corpse pit. We leave it open air. Uh, now, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away for just a moment. And when we, go, we come back, we will save this. And then, we'll play around a GeoGuessr for the end. Um, let's see. We still got our 15 stone there. So that's how I know that we're, we're in a good spot. Okay, I'll be right back. Enjoy the chair for about three minutes. I'll be right back.
and we're back. <laughs> One day I'll get sponsored by a chair. Uh, the chair that Steelcase. If Steelcase, this is open, open to them. If they want to sponsor me, I will take that. I believe in their product. <laughs> I don't think that they are into sponsoring uh, gaming gaming streamers, but <laughs> if they want to, they I, I I will I will give them my number personally. I will I'll. I'll make a video touring their factory. <laughs> uh, you'll send them a note. Julian, do it. All right. I'm going to go through. I just want to go through to see what else, if we could upgrade anything. I kind of want to get us to 200 population. It feels like a good, solid cutoff point. So let's look. Can any of these be upgraded? No. No. And we can't build our manor yet because that stupid stone is right there. Or we can. Okay, we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to build a couple of homes right here. And then we'll build our manor in a, in a slightly different spot than it was before. Uh, so let's see. It's just outside of the boundaries there. Oh, I'm really threading the needle. I can't believe it's going to let me get away with that one. Um, same thing here. Too steep. The topography has defeated me. I didn't I didn't know that that was a, a thing I could encounter. But it makes sense. <laughs> Respect the topography or not be allowed to build. There we go. We made it happen. Not the topography. Uh, can you ask me a question about another game? Absolutely. I can't guarantee that my answer will be good. But you're you're always welcome to ask. Uh, so, the porcelain wolf, what is your question? Too steep. Uh, I do have topo lines, and I'm I'm trying to make my own. Look at that! I just have to make the house conform to the terrain, and then it's fine. So I just have to pull the parcels over enough. God, this tool is so cool. Like I just imagine this tool in a modern city builder. Just uh, uh, just imagine. Yes, respect the terrainography. <laughs> We were able to do that by pulling the zone over. The bandits again. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Oh, we're not doing that. Wait. We could. We've got six troops over there. No, I will I will I will hold myself. Do it please. Okay, I'll ask you guys in a poll. Do we go for the bandits or GeoGuessr? Bandits? GeoGuessr. There you go. Bill Steelcase is on Twitch. I need to hit them up. No way. No way. Steelcase is on Twitch. 180 followers <laughs> but it, it is actually their logo they last streamed 13 hours ago oh my goodness oh my okay I gave them a follow maybe I should sub to them and be like can I tell you they have 188 followers okay guys okay guys You literally work for a Steelcase dealer, Julian? Everyone should follow Steelcase. They're amazing. They have the best chairs. And uh, this will definitely help me get a sponsorship. <laughs> they have one person who's given them three subs. I'm doing it. I'm going to give them a sub. I'm going gonna, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna to sub to Steelcase. 
Okay. I am one of Steelcase's subscribers. I feel good about that. I feel very... This is a Steelcase chair. So out of their 188 people that are, that are following, I'm one of them and I'm one of their only subscribers. I feel wonderful about that. <laughs> what model? Oh boy. Um, first of all, I gotta look at the poll. Bandits, we're going for the bandits. Uh, I have... The gesture. It is the very best chair. I love it so much. Uh, and the one thing I will say, the chair is very expensive. You buy an expensive chair and keep it forever. Don't, do not, do not. If you're going to spend this many hours in a chair, don't cheap out. Oh yeah, it's very expensive. Buy a used one and and keep it forever. Uh, despite your 188, we're DJ. We're still going to do GeoGuessr, but. We will do our quick raid. Uh, we will. We'll keep it. We'll keep it up. Not sure they need to sponsor you if you're already hyping them up for free. That's a good point. I could just tell them I'll say horrible things. <laughs> this is the worst chair ever. <laughs> uh, we do. Oh, after we after we attack them, we should have enough influence to claim one of Hildenbolt's lands. And then it quickly bounce off stream. So you guys have to come back next time. <laughs> I like this. This is really smart. You, you guys set this up so perfectly. Couldn't be any better. Uh, great catching me here on Twitch. Been a long time YouTube sub. Uh, Trota, thank you so much for being here. But if they sponsor you, you can get a discount so you can sell more chairs. Here's the thing. I've been trying to get my wife to get a, a decent chair for a long time. The only, so she was rocking uh, what is basically a glorified folding chair in her office for years. She bought it from uh, TJ Maxx and thought it was just fine. I couldn't sit in it for more than like, I don't know, 30 minutes without my back hurting. And I would just see her shifting around and it just, it killed me. So we ended up looking around and she ended up getting this gigantic chair. It's like... I don't know, twice as wide as my chair in both directions. And it's meant for uh, uh, for sitting crisscross in it. So that's that's the chair she has now. Uh, but I think she should still have a steel case and it, like a good chair. A good chair that'll last you forever. A chair that won't give you back pain. But yeah, no. Uh, just got home from the Calvary, Calgary Flames hockey game. Have I ever been to a hockey game? Uh, I mean, not a professional hockey game. The town I grew up in was a hockey town. I mean, I'm from northern Wisconsin. Everyone played hockey there, except for me. I did football and basketball. Uh, Kaysid, thank you so much for the biddies. Twice. Appreciate you. Trota, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you. Coyote, thank you for the prime. Wrecker, thank you so much for the tier one. You're so damn excited for this game. You should be. So it's, a, it's a great game. And thank you. Five months. That's super awesome of you. Am I a Packers fan? I mean... Do I breathe air? Yes. Uh, in fact, anyone who is a, a new subscriber, you get the, uh, uh, I, I guess I, I snuck in. I, I don't know why you got some James, but there's some James. You get James too. <laughs> I need to get some, uh, oh, buffs for sure. I, hopefully, hopefully you're not a, uh, you're not a Badger fan. I'm I'm blasphemous, but yeah. I went to Colorado. I'm not a I'm not a Badger fan. I have a Badger behind me, because I went to a Badger game and uh, got that thing. It's like cool. But also a Buffs fan. <laughs> there we go. You guys ready for this? It's gonna be good. Oilers. Make Jesus Lions fan? Jordan, you and Kodiak. Kodiak has it set up so that if I uh, if I go in his stream and I drop the Packers logo, uh, it'll it, it says let's go Lions or something like that. <laughs> okay. We've got our influence, presumably. 
We didn't get it? Or are we gonna get it after we clear this? I thought we got it once we got rid of the bandits. No, that would be terrible. Oh. I feel like we didn't get it. I don't know why we didn't get it. But we didn't get it. Oh, that's that's brutal. Can't believe we took so many troops over here. Um I just feel like Charlie Barron's though. Do I have a beef with, with of course I do. I, I have family in Chicago. And uh I've never been to a game at Lambo, but I've been to games at Soldier Field. And I just love seeing all the Bears fans sad after the Packers win every single time. It's wonderful. I live for it. Uh, do I need a manor for influence? <gasps> oh, shoot. I didn't even think about that. That makes a ton of sense. Oh, shoot. Grants. <gasps> Wait a minute. We get influence the moment we place our manor. So do we get 250 if we place it again? That's the that's the cheat code right there. If you want, uh... oh wow, we have no one under charcoal charcoal kiln. Uh, if you want, uh, if you want your manor, uh, if you want lots of influence, just keep deleting your manor. Big brain stuff right there. Uh, one more person at our clay furnace. I'm gonna slow down our woodcutter's lodge. So we've got a lot of fuel. And then I'm gonna crank this up. And then once we have a couple of planks, we'll do it. Place delete, place delete. It's 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 the it's the winner's move. Same thing goes for the church. It does. <laughs> no influence spamming. <laughs> Uh, this is totally inadvertent, but I'm also here for it. I'm also super here for it. Um, let's see. Come on. Let's, let's... Do I need more? Uh, oxen. That could help. I get two more going here. And influence came in. It did. Okay. Okay. So we want. We want to be able to grow our barley. So I'm inclined to take this one. It's super close. We're doing it. We got it. We got it. I'm going to speed this up. And if he declares war, I'm going to immediately save. And we're going to play GeoGuessr. This is... I... Is he going to... Is he going to declare war on us? He should. He should. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah. <laughs> he did. All right, guys. All right. Here's the thing. I'm good with this. This is where we save it. <laughs> Olsen, stream, end. With the cliffhanger. So you guys have to come back next week. I'm gonna, uh, that, that's how I get you to come back. <laughs> uh, all right. You got time. You got, uh, you got time for one round of GeoGuessr? We're good. We're, uh, that's good. I'm excited. You guys are making me wait a week as well. I mean, look at that. Look at that. We're over there. We didn't even clear it. Hold on. One last thing. One last thing. There we go. We got our money. And I'm going to give that to the treasury so we can get lots, lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of help. There we go. Okay, guys. That's, that's it. That's it. So the next time we play this will be right before you guys can. And midstream. I actually I don't know when the go live time is. But yeah. 
Do I know Robert's rules of order? I do. I've had to abide by them because of council meetings and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, give me just one second. We are going to get all set up for this. Uh, and we won't play this music anymore. <laughs> we'll just do a little something different. Hold on. Um, yeah, we are, we are motion to play GeoGuessr. Do I have a second? <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> motion passed. There we go. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give this to YouTube first. And let's see. On YouTube, 998 of you. Let's go CSU. I love it. Charles. Love it. Uh, Nate G. Wood. Phil, you were playing Manor Lords. is exactly what I needed when, uh, when your home at sick on a Friday morning. You're a gem. Thanks for teaching us so much about planning over the years. Thank you, Nathan Wood. I appreciate you. Uh, so we've got some YouTube folks joining in. So Twitch, here you go. And we're back. So hop on in. Let's see. We've got almost a thousand on YouTube, almost 500 on Twitch. We can load this thing up. In the meantime, I'm going to figure out who we're rating. Um, oh, you know who we're rating? We're rating Jedi. Did Jedi just begin or is Jedi ending? Jedi just began. Okay. Jedi is about 50 minutes into his stream. I, je well, okay, actually, I'm going to leave it to you guys. We've got two people playing Manor Lords. Imperial Jedi, who I love, and Ultrasaurus, who's awesome. So, uh, do I want hints? Always. Uh, so, I'm going to I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Actually, I'll leave you guys with three options. Four options. You guys are going to pick. Who do we raid? Uh, I'm going to set a timer now. You get 60 seconds to hop in. Um, so let's see. YouTube. Hazel, thank you so much on YouTube. Appreciate you. Uh, there's the link. So the folks that we could raid. Imperial Jedi. Simcopter. Ultrasaurus. Or Curdy will creative. It's been a minute. Curdy's always a lot of fun. I'll let you guys skew the poll. We've got about 25 more seconds to hop in, and then we're just gonna roll. Actually, I'll let the poll be the end of it. Once the poll is done on Twitch, we will uh we will jump into the game. We're gonna do world, just keep it nice and lame. Uh Ultrasaurus and Imperial Jedi are playing Matter Lords, Simcopter's playing Sim uh, Stardew Valley. Uh, Curdy Will Creative is just chatting. But Curdy's always a blast, so. Um, couple, couple more seconds. So it's a tie, basically, between Jedi and Curdy Will Creative. Anyone could take it. I don't know what Curdy Will Creative's up to. I don't know, uh, but I do know that Imperial Jedi just started streaming, and it's Manor Lords. Uh, you, you have to do anything close to guessing anything in GeoGuessr. Great system. Looking forward to next week. Oh, great stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Curdy is working. <laughs> well, we are going. It looks like we are going to Jedi, which I am super stoked about. Jedi is amazing. You guys are going to enjoy popping over there. All right. And with that, 63 of us. I want to be in the top six. I'm delusional. So we're going to do it. <laughs> Let's go. And where are we? Europe. You can tell by the license plates. Landslide. It was it was a bit of a landslide. Uh, Jumbo. Burger King. Uh, this tells me nothing. <laughs> Eastern Europe. Uh, I need I need a URL. Wait. Estadio. Is that Spanish? 
Yeah, this is... This is Spanish. So this is Spain, I think. I think we're in Europe for sure. Spain or Portugal? Oh, 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 Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Uh, appreciate... I have no idea where that city is in Portugal. Oh, there it is. We're by a university. Uh, shopping district. Uh, studio. Da, 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 da. Superior. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I got it. I think we're right there. This is as close as we could be. Superior education. It's not a roundabout, but oh, right here. It's right there. How close do we get? Not as close as other people. <laughs> but I'm still very pleased with that. I said top six. DJ, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You guessed the wrong track. Yeah, DJ, right in front of me. Steel Airship. I thought that was Steel Case at, 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 for, for just a moment. They, they decided to hop in the stream. You went to Lisbon, Icy. Very nice. I, Portugal seems like an amazing place. I also feel like there's a lot of Americans that have moved to Portugal, and I can't imagine that they love that. I feel like it's like an expat hotspot. Italy? Earth? I think I think you're onto something with Earth. Oh, it's very pretty wherever we are. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there's some signs over here. And it feels like there's going to be a URL. Oh, 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 San Marino. So that is Italy, right? Um, I think I just said that as American as possible, like Midwestern, <laughs> Northern Italy. We're trying to find San Marino, Italy. And of course, I have no idea where it is. Oh, right here. Jeez. Um, I'm just going to flip there. We're not actually in San Marino. We're close to it. Um, it is in Italy. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. San Marino, its own thing? All right, it is, and I was, it's a different, it's a country. That is fascinating. I feel like an idiot. I definitely was not a geography major in college. <laughs> uh, it's a city state. Oh, that's why it sounds familiar. Civ. Oh. Hmm, Bangalore's not doing well tonight. R2 poll. Well, thank you for being here. We're, we're actually at the end, but we're having a nice round of GeoGuessr. I'm trying to get in the top six, but there's just so many people that are so much better than me. And I didn't know that San Marino was a city state. I thought it was, I thought it was a city, which I guess it is, but it's also a state. Now, Slavic, uh, Ukraine. Belarus or Russia, Serbia. Hopefully we get somewhere that gives us some information. Bulgaria. You guys are all over the place. Turkey between Istanbul. That doesn't feel right. Bulgaria feels right. Austria. It's like, I don't see any vehicles. Oh, there's a vehicle. That looks like a European Union license plate. I'm going to... I'm going to... Hmm. I'll pick somewhere rural. Serbia isn't part of the EU. Wait, when in doubt, pick the biggest city. Somewhere outside of it. We'll go right there. Fingers crossed. 
I think I made it worse, but it's still close. Oh, I'm still dropping every single time. Jortman at the top, as usual. Not surprised. South, Bar South Bar Bulgaria. <laughs> uh, and we are in Finland because that's where we always end. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? Poland. This looks... It, no, it, it, Poland it is. It feels like it's Poland based on the, the writing. Uh, speed of Poland. Kind of wild. The number of uh, like just excellent games that have been coming out of Poland. Uh, the Fro Frostpunk is out of Poland. I didn't realize that. Um, oh, there was the sign name. The, the city name. Uh, Timberborn. Is Slavic magic from Poland? Um, well, that's not right. Is it like a suburb? I... Seems like a very small town. Um, you're not an expert. Do you think the games industry is subsidized there? That'd be fascinating if it, if it is. I mean, get it. If you want to, if you want an industry, that's a way to do it. Um, I would, this is probably not right, but I'm going to choose this city that kind of looks like it has similar spelling. Yeah, I should have just done Warsaw. You always pick the biggest city, not the one that kind of looks like it. I'm going to be 20th, 24th, even worse. Terrible way off, same way off here near Warsaw. Always go when in doubt, go near the biggest city. Final round. Pearls, nice work, first place. I see you're in fourth. I see ya. I see ya. I feel like we've been here before. Wherever we are, it's very pretty. And I don't mean all the gas stations. It seems like that's. <laughs> um. So it's in euros. Doesn't look. Is this? This couldn't be Greece, could it? Croatia? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to switch over us over to GeoGuessr. I guess it's too late now. I'm going to say it's Greece or Croatia. Because I see the euro. Wait. Byzantine? Is this like close to it's Albania? I feel like it's Greece close to Turkey. I feel like we're like somewhere over here. Uh We're rolling with that right by the Turkey border. I feel good about that. We'll guess it. That was a terrible guess. Albania was right. You, you guys are always right. Uh, chemically inaccurate, you think? <laughs> well, you know what? That got me closer. I can't believe that. Wait, where, were, where was everyone else? Not guessing. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish. Thanks for the game. Hey, DJ, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 13th. So it's okay, Rocky. Nice job. Good game. First place. Hurl. Second place. Uh, my, my, Mulajan. Third place. Icy. Excellent work. Fourth place. Jortman. Fifth place. Nice job. The one true Doty. Doty. Good to see you in here. Sixth place. Uh, Playful Park. Seventh place. Nice work. RC likes trains. Uplifting Bridge. Infidel Castro. Rounding out the top 10. Nice work. Thank you all so much. Um, I want to say goodbye to everyone on YouTube and thank you all for being here. Uh, still uh, 850 of you. Thank you all so much for hanging out, having a good time. Mick Funnelbutt, thank you too. Uh, we are going to say goodbye to YouTube. We're going to say it the right way. Can we give YouTube some hearts? And I will find the right song to play them out. And then we'll go over. Say goodbye to Jedi. Uh, yeah. And for anyone who got gifted subs over on Twitch, um, Hop into the Discord, early access videos. Uh, the access has been a little bit less early 
because they've kind of been doing just in time delivery, but still, thank you all so much. Uh, and everyone on YouTube, oh, Planner Duck on YouTube, thank you so much for the, for the gifted memberships. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you all so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.